Welcome to Ultimate Autographs. You have found the internet's best live break room featuring signed sports memorabilia and autographed sports cards inside the most exciting mystery boxes. If you're new to breaking with us, we can help break it down to make it as easy as possible to understand. First, head to the live break page and look for a series that suits your interests. Most of the series will have eight spots, which represent the eight NFL divisions, but other sports breaks or mixers may vary. If you purchase one spot, that means you have a one in eight chance to win an item at an extremely discounted rate. Then click add to cart to purchase your live break spot. Once you have completed your checkout, tune into the next available live breaks broadcast on Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube at 7 p.m. Central Time any day of the week or 4 p.m. on weekdays along with 2 p.m. on weekends. As you watch, you will see your name appear on the screen. When your specific break begins, your name will go into the randomizer and will be randomized a specific amount of times based on that evening's dice roll number. Once the randomization is over, the list of names of people that bought into that live break will be matched up with a specific division. If the item that is pulled from the mystery box matches your division, congratulations. You just won an incredible piece of signed memorabilia that will be shipped straight to your door. Want to guarantee yourself an item as opposed to testing your luck? Most of the series that you see on the live break page can be purchased under the mystery box tab of our website. Those boxes could either be shipped directly to your door or opened on the air before being sent to you. While you are there, make sure to sign up for our signature points club. This exclusive club earns you points towards specific discounts, signed items, or exclusive events each and every time you buy at ultimateautographs.com. Your breaker for tonight's show. Oh my God. Who likes long walks on the beach? Candlelight dinners in his Patrick Mahomes jersey. The best quarterback in the world. Oh, there Patrick he is. Patrick Mahomes. Yes. And staring at the messy posters over his bed, it's Common and Chef. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm Common and Chef here with Colin Rudisil. Ready for an awesome show tonight, Colin. Got a lot of great diamond helmets, all the headliners, but one out there. Uh, we have the last vault box, which is an authentic helmet. Mm. And I will offer up a little ultimate autograph secret menu. Secret, huh? If this breaks those out by 418, I'm going to make a random time, right? 418. 418. Uh, I will do a chase view spin for the guys in the vault break. Uh, so we have the slab cards, all the headliners out there. Uh, it is Thirsty Thursday. If you buy six or more break spots, you select the jersey with one, you get that spot for free. Uh, a lot of great stuff across the break room. Uh, cannot wait to get started, Colin. Uh, how are you doing today? Yeah, great. As you said, great stuff all across. I had a great night in the vault last night. I think the diamonds maybe today. A lot of good stuff in there. All full-size authentics, Oof. all big names. That would be Oof. a fun series to get going. Yeah, the headliner list is just tremendous. Uh, ratios there are like better than one in three. I think in a, a photoed headliner as well. Uh, so let's get the show started. Two virtual dice looking for... Six or higher on the dice roll. Uh, three and a six. Nine on the dice roll. All right. Nine. That'll do. Uh, heading on over to the Wheel of Names. Let's see what we're chasing this show. Chase item of the day. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's doing great uh, on this fantastic Thursday. We do have Thursday night football tonight. Steelers and Titans. Uh, should be a very, very good game. What's up, Vince? Vince. Uh, Vince, how's it going, man? Uh, so Chase is the footballs. Uh, that's a good chase because we know that fills up pretty quickly. Lower, lower level entry point break uh, does tend to go pretty quickly. I mean, you've already got a, a chase wheel spin then. There we go. Perfect. Love to hear it. Not too great. I'm a Raiders fan. I, I feel you. I'm a Bears fan, <laughs> Vince. I, I, I feel you on that as well. Uh, my one bet for the week, Colin, uh, me and my friend call it a mortgage bet, a bet that we're very, very confident in. You know, I hate betting unders with a passion. Cannot stand it. But the best bet this week to make is Giants Raiders under 37. It is such a low one, but you look at the Giants scores, 
Uh, their combined points have been in the 20s the last few weeks. The Raiders are the only team that has not scored more than 21 points in a game this year. They're going to their backup quarterback. They're going to have a new coach. I think the Giants and Raiders game is going to be one of the all-time toilet bowl games in oh, NFL goodness. history. 37? That's a hit. I think it's going to be like 6-3, to three, Colin. I really do. Yeesh. It's going <laughs> to be tough. To three. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, Daniel. What's up, Daniel? Daniel okay. Kyler. Uh, so we do have a jersey as first, right? Turnover jersey. battle jerseys. Let's go. Uh, so jersey single number one. Uh, go ahead and drop me a box number here. Uh, so we got Brandon Fairbanks. Uh, we got David Briggs, Matt Disrud, Jeff Holstein, and Troy Shamans. Shamans, a lot of new guys in, in this break. If you're a new customer in the break room, let me know what team you like, and let me know how you heard about Ultimate Autographs. I'll put this vault box behind me here, Colin, just because I know we'll get this done. If we get it done by 418, Secret Chase wheel spin for those guys. I'll give them about 30 seconds just in case on the box call. Uh, those boxes are rolling at the bottom of the ticker. Uh, so the jersey one is rolling right now. We have numbers 3 through 6, 9, 10, 12, 14 through 20, 22 to 23, 25, and then 28 through 35. All right, let's let the wheel decide, Colin. What do you say? I guess the wheel will decide. All right. The almighty wheel. The almighty. Uh, how about 27, 27 in the jerseys? Uh, so we got ourselves, let's see here. We don't have 27, but we have 28, Colin. That's the closest one. We'll do 28. Uh, B. Rand says, big Chicago fan. Uh, tough year. Yeah, it's a tough year for the Bears as well. Tough year for uh, the it's, Chicago. It's tough. All the Chicago sports are bad. Uh, seen a lot of ads on social media. I'm a Chicago fan as well. Uh, it's it's tough, man. There's literally no good ones. <laughs> the basketball team is mediocre-ish. I think the Bulls can get in the play-in tournament, maybe, Colin. Wishful. <laughs> maybe. maybe. That's a big maybe. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm really excited about Aiden O'Connell starting for the Raiders. Been watching this kid since the beginning of the preseason, says Vince. Okay. I like well, Aiden O'Connell. We'll see. Uh, I don't like him this week. You know, his second start against a good defense. But with a new coach, you know. But we'll see. Maybe he is the answer going forward. I'll say this. Whether it's O'Connell or Jimmy G, they got a lot of issues. Yeah. Uh, they got a lot of issues, Colin. Uh, let's see. Dice roll is nine. Now we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, what quarterback is typically very, very popular in inside franchises? At least ones that maybe don't have an amazing, amazing quarterback, Colin. You know, half of the NFL, one of the most popular players is the backup quarterback, right? Uh, if your starter isn't working, everybody loves the backup until they see him play, and then they're like, "Ah, he's not yeah, as cool. <laughs> not, not as cool as we thought." Uh, we got Matt in the NFC North, Jeff NFC South, Troy NFC East, David NFC West. Brandon's got the AFC North and South. Brandon's got the AFC East and the AFC West. Well, would you look at that? It's pretty simple for Brandon. He's looking for an AFC hit, Colin. Simple as that. That'll do. He did, Vince. Uh, Tyson, in Tyson we trust. Yeah, it didn't uh, go so well last week. He, he did do well against the Raiders, not as well against the Chargers. Yeah. Not Which is, I mean, look, when are Bears quarterbacks consistent? Never. Never. Try never. I think there was a, a guy, you know, back in the 30s or 40s that was Sid Luckman. He was okay. He was a, little so bit, a, little, a little bit more consistent, Colin. Uh, here's the guy that the Bears could have had. Uh, they drafted Cade McNown, the former lefty quarterback in the late 90s, early 2000s era. They could have had Dante Culpepper instead. That would have been uh, right. Yeah, three-time Pro Bowler, led the league in passing yards one year, passing touchdowns in another. Nice Viking custom jersey. Uh, that is the NFC North, and that is Matt Disrud. What's up, Matt? Uh, nice hit on your Culpepper. A little bit of pepper on this jersey, Colin. You like this? Yeah. Uh, what up? What up, Matt? That's how we do it, man. Some cold peppers. The cold peppers. Cold pepper. Good job, Matt. Yeah, good start. Good start indeed, Colin. Big Dante Cold Pepper fan myself. Yeah, I liked him. 
him, Randy Moss, Chris Carter. Uh, those dudes were, were really, really good back in the day. Nice jersey, too. That purple pops. Yeah, the purple is nice. Uh, very, very clean. So good start for Matt. Uh, he had only one spot on that break. It is JSA certified, Colin. 26 bucks a spot, and he got it for 26 Skull, says Matt. Are you a Viking fan, Matt? <laughs> oh, man, isn't that nice? That well, worked out. Look, I got news for you, man. Uh, we got ourselves Adrian Peterson and Randy Moss in the Diamond Helmets. Uh, we got ourselves Justin Jefferson in the minis. Uh, so we have Justin Jefferson in the jerseys. Uh, we got a lot of Viking stuff here in the break room. A lot of Viking stuff. Oh, always. Just pulled a sick two-toned Adrian Peterson in that vault Oof. yesterday. Yeah, that thing was cool, wasn't it? Oh. I actually never saw it in, in person, Colin. Oh, I'm a little sick. jealous. The yellow visor. Nasty. Right? Uh, Matt's from Minnesota, too, so... Hopefully his heat is working unlike mine at my apartment, Colin, because uh, it's probably cold in Minnesota. It's always cold in Minnesota. Yeah, it's actually not too bad in the Chicagoland area today, but the first night it went out was Tuesday, Colin. It was cold on Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, so well, it was snowing, wasn't it? Right. Or was yeah. That Wednesday. No, it was no, snowing. It was, it was snow flurries. It, it was. I came from Florida, which was 77 and sunny, to friggin' snow on the car. How was the trip? It was better than I thought it was going to be. Better? There you go. Let's, uh, you know, we'll talk, we'll discuss off air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll discuss off air. It was air. beautiful, though. Their place uh, is beautiful. Yeah, there you right go. Right on the beach. It was really nice. Cool. Uh, Collins got the Clay Thompson jersey, got the winning shot last yes. night. Uh, I wore my Mahomes jersey on Tuesday for Halloween, and I've got the messy shirt today. About to get messy. Got his eighth Ballon d'Or this week, Colin. That was exciting. The most ever, of course. All right, we have Oink coming up. Uh, Steven and I came up with something, Colin. Oh, boy. If it's an Oink single, you just got to say comment oh, yeah, Oink. There we go. If it's an Oink double, you got to go Oink, Oink. So let me get a Oink from you, Colin. Oink. Ah, you're so <laughs> thrilled. You are so thrilled. I can just tell. So what would an Oink quad be? Uh, that'd be four Oinks. That's a lot of Oinking. <laughs> That's a lot of Oinking. <laughs> Football single number one. Go ahead and drop me a box number. We got Jason Odins. We got David Briggs, Jeff Emsland, uh, Robert Newman also in here. It's Newman from, from Seinfeld. <laughs> Newman. I knew it was you, Newman. Uh, that same guy's in uh, Space Jam. Yeah, he is. The same actor. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. And Jurassic Park. And Jurassic Park. Uh, so let me know, guys, in a box number. Robert, let me know what team you like. And how you heard about Ultimate Autographs. Uh, and then after this, I'll probably do a rundown, Colin. What are we close on? Let's see here. I think the oink. Oink. Ah, is close. <laughs> nice. And you're picking it up. Only two spots to go in that one. We could clear out the footballs. Uh, this show, there's only nine of them left, Colin. I don't see why not. I was thinking we'd clear out the, the vault first, but we could actually clear out the footballs first. A lot of oinking. All right. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Uh, so I'm not confident in any of these games. <laughs> no, the NFL game scheduled this week is crazy. It is crazy. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at, like, you look at the spreads, three, one and a half, four. I guess the Browns one I'm pretty confident on against the Cardinals. They have my most points. <laughs> yeah, eight. The Saints against the Bears, eight and a half. Uh, but, they're, I mean, like, even the Ravens, like, I'm picking the Ravens, but they're, that's like the third biggest spread of the week is Ravens minus six. And that's a really good Seattle team. Yep, yep. So the NFL is going to be fun this week. Uh, Dolphins, Chiefs, what do you think about that one, Colin? Uh, In Germany. Have yet to pick it. <laughs> the NFL Frankfurt games. I'm still, uh, I'm still staring at it. I like the Chiefs minus one and a half personally. Uh, I think Reed, Mahomes, they don't lose back-to-back -back games. But uh, Tyreek against the Chiefs will be nice. I did pick the Chiefs. I just don't know how much okay. confidence I'm going to put Right? It. It's tough. Uh, we got ourselves 20 uh, on the oink. I do see 20 on the ticker, Colin, so that should be good. I see 20 here. Barry Sanders. Uh, so we got oink, oink, two away, oink, four away. Thank you, Daniel. He's embracing it, Colin. <laughs> uh, I like it. Uh, so there is an oink, oink, oink. What about oink, 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 oink? <laughs> says William. That's a lot of pigs. That's a lot of pigs. <laughs> That's a lot of pigs. Uh, Vince is going for the Dolphins. Uh, Vince, my season pick, my preseason pick, 
was Chiefs and Dolphins in the AFC Championship game. So I'm going for both of those teams uh, long term this year. It's going to be a heck of a game. Yeah, I'm staring at five games and I just I'm, I should just put numbers. I have no idea. Just flip a coin. That's pretty much where I'm or at. Or ask Alex. He might know, but he he's might not, not tell he's not you. Tell me. <laughs> well, Alex lost his mojo this last week. Uh, he was just dominating yeah. every week in the work pick'em this last week. Lost that mojo. Took a step back, huh? Yeah. Uh, Young cat. I'm coming up on him. Second place, Colin. I'm lurking. Those confidence points, they help. Uh, okay. So we got nine clicks. It's Jeff up top in the NFC North uh, looking for uh, the best bear receiver, DJ Moore. David Briggs in the NFC South. Jason Odins, NFC East, NFC West. Robert Newman. Uh, mm -hmm. NFC, AFC North. I have nothing against them. It's just a show, Colin. Uh, we got Jeff, AFC South and East, and it's Newman in the AFC West. Watch, he's like, it's not pronounced that way. Yeah, it's actually it Newman or Nauman. 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 Uh, so we'll see. Box 20 coming up. 20 in the footballs. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. Uh, this is... One of my favorite fullbacks. You know what? My favorite fullback of all time. It is Mike Allstott, Colin. Very nice. nice. Mike Allstott, autographed football. The A-Train, six-time Pro Bowler, former Super Bowl champion. Uh, he's a beast. Yeah. He had almost 1,000 rush yards as a fullback one season. Uh, that's the NFC South, and that is David Briggs. What's up, David? David. Uh, nice hit right there. He's not from Spain, Colin. I think Could it's be. just David. You don't know. Could be David. I guess it's possible. That's how you spell it. It is how you spell it. Uh, so I actually went to uh, the Western and Southern U.S. Open uh, in Cincinnati a few years ago, and David Ferrer was playing, and there was this, uh, you know, uh, Spanish fan just chanting, Vamos David! Vamos David! Vamos David! Vamos. And he just kept saying it the whole time. <laughs> That's great. I think, uh, is it Biggs or Briggs? There's a sports writer that writes about the Bears. I think his name is either Biggs or Briggs. I don't know if that's the sports writer. If you look him up, Colin. Uh, he's like a Chicago Bears beat writer. Maybe he's playing our break room right now. Brad Biggs. Brad Biggs. Okay. So this is David Briggs. Maybe his brother. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Well, congrats, David, on Mike Allstott. This was my guy... In Madden, Colin, my fullback in Madden every time. Every time. Every time. So good job, David or David. Uh, however, it's pronounced. I think it's David, but it could be David. You never know. Could be David. It could be David. It's probably David. Okay. Well, there's... Briggs just doesn't strike me as a, a Latin last name. You know. I think of Lance Briggs too. By mm -hmm. the way, yeah. maybe it's Lance Briggs's brother. That's probably more likely than his name being. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> right? Being honest. Probably, Colin. All right, guys. Uh, what are we doing next? Uh, what are we thinking next here on the live break page? Maybe more oink action. Oink. We did get five uh, spots. We're down five away in the vault. However, it is 418. The vault did not fill up. Womp, now, there will not be a secret chase wheel spin for those guys in there. Uh, but there will be an authentic helmet. And the last vault I've got next to me is an authentic helmet. I know sometimes folks are worried about the vault. Is it a mini? Is it a jersey? Is it a rep? It's authentic. Helmet. It's authentic. Authentic helmet, which every single authentic helmet is worth considerably more than $79. Yeah, I'd say. All right, top to bottom rundown. We got two spots left in the oink oink. Uh, we are looking for DJ Moore, uh, one of the better receivers in the league. I had multiple 1,000-yard receiving seasons with the Panthers. Uh, Bear receivers have not had multiple 1,000-yard receiving seasons often. He could get there this year, DJ Moore. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's, you know, Tyson, whether it's Justin Fields. Uh, he's the go-to guy in Chicago. Uh, he's a very, very talented wide receiver. Uh, he's still out there with eight boxes left. Six to go on the Diamond Quad. Uh, we got 28 Diamond Helmets left. Actually, what I really like about this series, Colin, uh, is that there is 12 photo headliners to start. Uh, make it 11 now. It's 11 in 28 chance. It's almost a 1 in 3 chance at a photo headliner. Uh, we got Troy Aikman, three-time Super Bowl champion quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys and the Flash Authentic 
Saquon Barkley could be paired with him in the double box break or the quad box break. Top five running back in the league. He might be the only guy to get a touchdown in that Giants Raiders game. Tell you what, it's going to be ugly. Oh, or this guy, Devontae Adams. You fill up the oink, Colin? Not yet. One away. One away. So, Devontae Adams uh, led the league in receiving touchdowns last season. He's on our UA fantasy team. We need him to step up this week, right? Uh, yep. We are 4-4, four and four, one game back of the last playoff spot, Colin. Oh, baby. It is tight. Uh, Nick Bosa, one of the best defensive players in the league. Depoy last year. We got Randy Moss, top two receiver of all time. Most single season receiving touchdowns. And he's got the second most for a career. Very valuable autograph, uh, Randy Moss. Adrian Peterson, Hydro Authentic. Top five in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns all time. TJ Watt, Flash Authentic Helmet. Uh, Defensive Player of the Year two years ago. Uh, tied for the uh, single season sack record. 2 0 with the Dolphins, Colin. Uh, Why did I say 2 0 with the Dolphins? Well, there's actually his autograph looks like a couple of Dolphins on there. That's yeah. clean. Uh, so one of the leading candidates for MVP, and that autograph value is only going to skyrocket. Uh, well, Damian Tomlinson, Flash Authentic, Hall of Fame 17 inscription, uh, LT, second all-time in rush touchdowns. That might be my second favorite flash behind the Jaguars, Colin. It's pretty good. Uh, Julio Jones, Chrome Flex. Uh, you know, the, the actually, excuse me, that's a Speed Flex, custom Speed Flex, not a Chrome. But the Speed Flexes are the most valuable helmets. Uh, you get a speed flex that is worth double what a normal authentic is. Then Micah Parsons, defensive player of the year candidate for Dallas and the Lunar Authentic. Uh, so we got the jerseys. Uh, those are pretty open. We still have uh, Mike Ditka, the coach, Bears legend, Kurt Warner, from the grocery store to the Super Bowl, Jay Jettas, best receiver in the league, him or Tyreek Hill, uh, number one all-time receiving yards per game. We got some guys. His name is Donovan McNabb. You ever heard of him, Colin? You mean the best Eagles quarterback of all time? Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm familiar. Okay. All right. So Colin knows McNabb. <laughs> Do we have an oink ready? Oink double. Oink, oink coming up. All right. So real quick then. Jamar Charles, speedy running back for the Chiefs. Eric Dickerson, single season rushing record holder. Earl Campbell still out there as well. Uh, slab cards, 25 box set. All eight headliners out there. Manning, Rodgers, Allen, Hurts. Adrian Peterson, Steven, uh, Steve Smith, Travis Kelsey, Bart Starr. Those names are ridiculous. Mini helmets, we're down to, believe it or not, only eight mini helmets. Uh, we've got some great receivers. Justin Jefferson, Heinz Ward still out there. Four to go in the football, seven to go in the slab, then five to go in the last vault, which is an authentic helmet. So let's get oinky with it. Uh, oink, oink, coming up. So oink double, number one. Drop me two box numbers. Robert Cal Curley, Kyle Lorson, uh, Christopher Howard, Aiden Greeny, Courtney Sim, Hunter Hoops, and James Jodry. Uh, Hunter wants 26. Thank you, Hunter. One more, if you don't mind. It is a double box break. It's an oink oink. Oink oink. We're almost out of these. Yeah, that's, I'm telling you, it's almost done. I think it's going to be how many left after these two, Colin? Uh, six, six left. Yeah. Six left. I mean, this could go. This could go. This could go. This show. Uh, it's only a twenty-one dollar entry point. I guess it does make sense why it goes so quick. I mean, obviously, we say this all the time: the diamond helmets, that series. You're gonna get the biggest names, the most value if you win. But some guys don't want to risk it for the biscuit, Colin. Right. Right. Not everyone wants to risk it for eighty-seven bucks or one seventy-four. Obviously, again, you can get a diamond headliner or diamond filler. It's worth more than a headliner in just about any other series we have. Uh, but if you do want to have the lower entry point, the lower risk, you can play the, the footballs. That's why it's there, right? Yeah, maybe they're like me and they got a little apartment. And footballs are easier to display than full-size helmets. That's true. Take the chance it's worth it, says Courtney, as far as the diamonds go, right? It is the most value for your buck. No yes. Question. Uh, those are the best helmets in the room. Uh, Courtney, how's it going? Courtney's been a real positive oh, yeah. uh, presence in this break room the last few days, Colin. She's ready to play. And I appreciate that. She's a baller, shot caller. It's Courtney. Uh, we got five, six, seven, eight, and nine clicks. 
All right, Kyle's got the NFC North. Hunter right below in the NFC South. Uh, NFC East is Robert. James, NFC West. Aiden, AFC North. Courtney, AFC South. Christopher, AFC East. And Courtney's got the AFC West. She says, I'm good. Having some fun with y'all. Good, Courtney. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. We are all about fun. Uh, if you want to be bored, uh, don't come to our stream, Colin. That's what I say. There's no, nothing boring going on here. Nothing. Nothing. 26 coming up. 26 of 30. Ooh. So we go with current NFL teams, right? So uh, this was a fantastic tight end for Dallas. He's now with the Houston Texans. Dalton Schultz Ooh, nice. on the autograph football. Uh, that is Beckett certified. The QR sticker on the back. Hey, Courtney, what's up, girl? You've got the Dalton Schultz. Congrats, Courtney. Uh, Courtney is uh, kind of a story as old as time. Like, Daniel Kyler is the same way when he first started. Courtney's first few breaks, Colin, she was getting three, four spots. She wasn't winning. She could have given up. She could have surrendered. She stuck with it. She kept chugging along, and the wins are coming now, right? That's it goes in hot streaks. It goes in cold streaks. Courtney was ice cold to start. She is uh, hotter than fire at the moment. It's kind of uh, similar to how Dalton Schultz has been this season. Started off pretty cold, but the last few weeks, he's starting to catch fire. Well, and look. And C.J. Stroud's starting to get that relationship down. Well, you get in a new system, Colin. I don't care who you are. Sometimes you need a little bit of time in that system, right? Mm -hmm. Takes a little bit of time to get going. Uh, so good get there, Courtney, on your Dalton Schultz. Here we go, she says. Here we go, indeed. Here we go. Here we go. We got them breaks coming up, y'all. Courtney in the house. That's how she does, Colin. That's how she does. I guess I like. The, I kind of like this autograph. I, I know Bob is going to say... I'd have no idea who it is, but it's DS, Dalton Schultz. Look at that. Well, Bob's at the hockey game, so you're not going to have to worry about it. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, who's he got tonight? Is it the Rangers or is he traveling to the, the Devils game? Rangers. Okay. I think it's the Rangers. He'll drop it anyway. Yeah, he'll probably be here. Uh, she's my protege in the break room, LOL, says Daniel, right? <laughs> Daniel knows. My Padawan. My Padawan. It's not a bad guy to learn from because Daniel Kyler... Uh, he's one of these guys that's always been respectful here, Colin. Mm -hmm. You know, some break rooms, people lose, they get upset. You know, they drop obscenities and, you know, people get mad. I'm not saying someone hasn't done this in our break room. We know they have. But for the most part, uh, this is this is a break room family where we keep it clean. You know, we keep it classy. Uh, and if you lose a break, I always see guys say, good hit, congrats. And we move on to the next one, right, Colin? That's right. That's all you can do, really. You, know, you can't win in everything you do in life. It is physically impossible. Unless you're a dog with a really good owner and you've got a lot of people looking after you. I think dogs, shout the ones that are... Shout out to Messi. The ones that are taken care of, they do have a pretty sweet life, Colin. Yeah, my cats are the same way. Yeah. Catrick Mahomes? <laughs> nope. Ah, <laughs> too Sorry. bad. Uh, proud to be the protege of you, says Courtney, right? Wow, look at that. Nice. There could be much worse people to be protégés of, right? So, I like that. Daniel Kyler, definitely a good dude. A protege. One of 30 coming up. The very first box. Oh, okay. It's, it's funny because I haven't really pulled this name hardly at all the last month, Colin. And it's two in uh, one show. Dalton Schultz uh, again. No, it's Dante Culpepper. Oh. Uh, that is Kyle Lorson in the NFC North, a former Pro Bowl quarterback for the Vikings. Like I said earlier, led the league in passing yards one season, passing touchdowns another. He's got that DT on the football. Uh, Dante Culpepper. Uh, the Vikings were close to a Super Bowl, I think in like 2000, falling against the Giants, who ultimately fell against uh, the Ravens back, back in that time. Uh, he was uh, what Dante Culpepper would do after a big play, Colin. He would do this. We rolling. Yep, but yep. he would do it slow. It was cool, man. Uh, kind of indicative of the break room. We are most definitely rolling here. Uh, what up, Kyle? Uh, good get, man. Congrats on your uh, Dal not Dalton Schultz, Dante Culpepper, excuse me. So DJ Moore is uh, pretty elusive, huh? Yeah, that's kind of who he is as a player, right? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, just give them the ball, which the Bears sometimes forget to do. But you know, it's the Bears, <laughs> Colin. It's not. It's not as easy as you think. I think it'd be pretty easy. Unless you're Bennett, lol. He wins, says Nick. I, I'll be honest with you, Nick. He's had his cold streaks like everyone. He's just on a hot streak right now. Uh, Michael Bennett's had his cold streaks like everyone. It goes in streaks, right? Oh, it absolutely does. Uh, Michael's streak has been pretty good lately. But again, four, five spots. I mean, people are like, how does that guy win a lot? He's buying four, five, six spots, Colin. Your odds to win are really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not often sniping uh, in the break room. Uh, good win, says Courtney. Yeah, good win indeed. Dante Culpepper. Culpepper. The pepper. Uh, so, good stuff, Kyle. Uh, good stuff, Courtney. Uh, and then there's only six oinks left. Uh, so, we'll get that cleared out. That's not a lot of oinking. Right? We'll get it cleared out. Maybe even the show, Colin. Uh, move on to our new series. Uh, there's actually going to be another oink. We're two away in the single. Uh, we are four away in the slap single as well. Uh, let's get those diamonds moving too, Colin, right? It's a high-end break. All authentics. Uh, they're all amazing. Uh, I always tell these guys, when should you play the diamond double in the quad? When should you play it most? Early on in the series. Where, mm -hmm. for example, in the NFC North, Adrian Peterson, Randy Moss... Uh, you know, you get the NFC East. It could be Troy Aikman, Saquon Barkley, Micah Parsons. Uh, when you have opportunities to double up, win multiple things with, with just one spot, you know, you pay 174 bucks. Uh, you hit two headliners in there, Colin. You could be looking at over a thousand dollar value just for 174. I mean, that's pretty good if you ask me, right? Very good. Uh, very, very good value in there. Uh, so definitely, let's get those authentics and move in the football weather, which. It's kind of becoming football weather, right? Yeah, here it it's, is. It's Especially. November. It's not as warm. Uh, so we go from, you know, the first week of the season where it's too hot to now where it's too cold. And it's, you don't get the perfect medium hardly ever, right? We never do. No. <laughs> That's life. That's weather, right? That's life. Football weather. So uh, I'll drop in the live break page link and I'll drop in some links that are on the doorstep. The oink is two away. Uh, everyone's always looking for what break's going to fill. Well, uh, that one's going to fill, Colin, no doubt. No doubt. Uh, here very soon. Maybe right now. Oh, did I drop it in for no point? You did. All right, well, That's never right. mind then. <laughs> uh, four to go in the slab. I'll drop that one in. Four to go in the vault. And then we are going to have a break called the practice squad. It's going to be a football mixer. Uh, it's going to contain authentics, minis, reps, jerseys, but it's going to be, you know, not as many authentics as a vault where the entry point is like in the mid-30s, Colin. Something tells me that break is going to fly in the break room. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah. What up, Darcy? Darce. What's up, Darce? Darce, 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 Darce. Stand up, Darcy Standish. Uh, Darcy is getting ready for, uh, hopefully, a really, really good Sunday night football game this week. I mean... The, the Bills and the Bengals, Colin, uh, that should be a treat. And they're both actually probably a little bit worse records than expected. Mm -hmm. uh, they both have three losses. Uh, this is one of these games that actually has huge playoff implications on the line this Sunday. You could. I mean, one viewpoint would say one team is trending upward while the other has been trending kind of downward here and recently. It's not Darcy's that's been trending upward, unfortunately yeah. for her. <laughs> unfortunately uh, for her. But look, the Bills are a team that can beat anyone. They could also lose to anyone. Yep. Uh, that's how the Bills roll. All right, so oink number two. Drop me a box number. We got Ron, Troy, and Brandon in this break. What up, Ron? Ron Richards. Did it big time uh, for sure in the breaks uh, the other day. So Ron is here for more. Mo. He wants 16. All right, Ron. 16 shall work in the oinks. I Two. got 16. And real quick, Colin, you have five left there? Yep. Uh, can you go over them? There's one that I didn't take off. 14, 18, 19, 24, and 25. So two we did up, looks like. No dose. All right, perfect. Uh, I just said it, actually, Kyle. It's called the Practice Squad Mixer. Uh, and we're also going to have a full-size black and blue because, honestly, 
Looks like the footballs and the vault are going to close out about the same time, Colin. Mm -hmm. But the next specialty series is going to be the practice squad. It'll be like a 35-ish uh, entry point per spot. There will be like four authentic headliners, but there will be jerseys, minis, photos, slabs. Uh, always big names as they are in the break room, but a little bit more of that, you know, lower level, not authentic helmets, so to speak. Right. Uh, but it's going to be cool. There's a, definitely authentic headliner still in that one. Like there's Don't a, you worry. There's a cool Lawrence Taylor photo that I saw that'll be in it. So there's some, some good stuff. There's some goodies. You're good, Kyle. No problem. Uh, this is why I always tell the guys, always ask questions. This is why I do the top to bottom rundown multiple times. It was just the irony of it was funny because I literally mentioned it probably, what, 45 seconds ago, Colin? You tuned in just a second too late. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like that sometimes. That's how it be. Uh, nine times for our spots. We got Ron in the NFC North. Uh, we got ourselves Brandon NFC South, Ron NFC East and West, Brandon AFC North and South, Troy AFC East, and Ron in the AFC West. I like that name. Shamans puts everyone to shame. Or it's shamans. Shamans? I don't know. Or shamans. Gamina. I don't know. <laughs> I like the name. Either way. <laughs> Is Ronnie punking us? What's after that? <laughs> we are way ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ronnie, you're going to have to rewind about 45 <laughs> seconds. Because I'm pretty sure he's punking us. He would never. All right, that. here comes William Maynard's all time favorite quarterback, Colin. You know who it is. Yep. One of the best autographs of all time. Now we got ourselves the Bob Greasy autograph football. The 72, 17 and 0 inscription for the 17 and 0 Miami Dolphins. Look at that ball. Uh, the only team in the history of football, Colin, to be undefeated in the regular season and the postseason. Uh, the two time Super Bowl champion, pro and college football Hall of Fame quarterback, Bob Greasy. That's the AFC East. It's Troy. Troy. Shamans. Let's go, Troy. Let's go, Troy. Uh, nice hit right there for Mr. Troy. Wow, says Darcy. Yeah, Darcy, good hits across the break room. Uh, every series got some cool names, uh, no doubt. Yeah, I forgot we knew he was still in there. Too. Yeah, he was in the listing. He's just hiding. Just hiding. We also forgot to mention Thirsty Thursday, I think. Darcy just used it. Yeah, I did mention it briefly earlier, but maybe not enough, Colin. Uh, so it is Thirsty Thursday. If you buy six or more break spots, you select one of them uh, with the black box jerseys. That checkout gives you that spot for free. It's not bad. So, so dang man, good pull. Took an L on the jersey in the oink, LOL. It is a nice pull. And William asking, what's Troy's team? Great question. I have no idea. If you're out there, Troy, let us know. Uh, Darcy says, congrats. Congrats indeed. That was one oink, right, Colin? One oink, yes. Just oink. We're getting close on two oinks. Okay, okay. of course we are. Yeah, this uh, this might go before the vault, Colin. It's kind of trending that way. So right? we're going to have two new series in the room tonight. Uh, Full-size black and blue, which is our one series with you know slight imperfections, maybe... A slight autograph smudge, but it's going to be all reps and authentics, high level uh, black and blue, where you can get those great names for even a lesser fraction of the cost. And then, of course, uh, the football mixer, which I mentioned, a lower entry point with a few authentics sprinkled in, a bunch of minis, jerseys, slabs, footballs, photos, so on and so forth. Uh, that's coming up as well. Uh, I do love what our break room does. I'm not saying we're the only one, but we are definitely one of the few, Colin. A lot of break rooms, you know, will have their slab cards. They'll have their high-level authentic helmets. Some will have minis or jerseys. We have all of it, right? All uh, of it. Different price points. We got the big dogs covered with the diamond authentics. We got the guys who don't want to spend as much covered with the footballs, the jerseys, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, can you preview what's after vault if there's a low? Uh, I It's an authentic vault. Uh, we have four spots left, Colin. I'm going to say let's get it closed up. Yeah, I think uh, it might even be less than that. What are we at? There's three left. Three left. Three left. Uh, so we get down to one one spot left, maybe, Ronnie, but 
Um, I want to get this vault cleared up first, so... Let's do it. Uh, we have the graphic in, though. Do you want to double check, Colin? Yeah, I think it's in there. The graphic is in there? Perfect. I will double check. I did say black and blue, William, but it's a full-size black and blue, so... I don't know exactly, but it's something in that $60, $70 range price. It's gonna Maybe it's 60 something uh, for the black. You probably got it pulled up, Colin, what the black and blue entry point will be. Whoops. Because I know it's a full-size black and blue. No minis, no jerseys, which means higher entry point. And that one doesn't have the graphic, looks like, so we probably got to get the graphic in, right? Yeah, this is so it's all authentic, even? 67. Is it, it is all authentic, it's right? All authentic, yeah, it is yeah. all authentic. That's right. It is the one that's all authentic. So instead of 87 bucks, 67 bucks, Colin, in that black and blue. But all authentic. But all authentic, right? And there's no minis, no jerseys, no nothing. Yeah, black and blue authentic 40 box series. Uh, so that'll be fun. Uh, that will be fun. Now, we'll do the practice squad one first, the black and blue one afterwards. But I'm done talking about those, Colin, because I want to focus in on what we have right now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I want to focus in on the present, in which the present includes three spots left in the slab single and three spots left in the vault single. I always say three or less fills up typically right away. Five to go in the mini double. Uh, we got five to go in the jerseys. And then only six to go in the quad for the diamond helmets. And this is why I'm going to move on, because I, I did said a bunch of times. So we have a practice squad break and a black and blue break. Uh, two specialty series. The first one we'll drop is the practice squad, Colin. Whether Oink closes first or whether Vault closes first, we're going practice squad. And then we're going black and blue after the next one. And with five boxes left in the Oink, this is going... Today as well, looks like, right? It's looking like it, right? Now, you're good. I, I, I don't know if William actually saw or if he just asked, but uh, we'll find out soon enough, right, what those series are all about, Colin. You want to know? You want to get the, the look of the series? Get these closed up now, Colin, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so you got it, William. He says, thanks, no problem. Uh, Rangers last night, Colin, winning the World Series in five games. Good for them. Uh, so Max Scherzer, Mizzou made, now got two World Series rings. Okay. That's why I was pouring <laughs> for Texas. He might have pitched only two innings in the World Series, but he's got the ring, baby. He got the ring. Mizzou I mean, made. He was, I more just wanted to see him win because they'd never won before. All right. Understandable. He was, he was way more important in the Nationals World Series title than this one but he's a little younger too yeah just a little bit younger but hopefully he gets back and healthy two spots left in the vault knock knock knocking on that door in that vault break guys let's get it four to go in the footballs uh so the vault box is authentic so i know guys are looking for the diamonds 89 87 a spot for the single this is 79 a spot this is going to be an authentic helmet here colin just a matter of what it is only 30 bucks a spot in the slabs. You get an Eli Manning autograph for 30 bucks. That's a mint nine grading, by the way. Aaron Rodgers rookie card. Uh, we have a graded Josh Allen. There's a guy named Jalen Hurts available as well, Colin. I'm familiar. All right. Adrian Peterson. Here's a guy we almost never get in the break room. Steve Smith. He helped me win my first fantasy football uh, you know, season. He was my star receiver back then, Colin. I love Steve Smith. He was always my guy in Madden, that big speed ranking. Uh, he was definitely a great get. Uh, Travis Kelsey, autograph slab. It's just a Kelsey autograph. There is no Taylor Swift autograph attached. As far as we know. As far as we know. Uh, they might be attached at the hip, uh, but it'll be just a Kelsey autograph, which is still pretty cool, Colin. And then Bart Starr, one of the OG great quarterbacks. Come and get that Bart Starr in our slab series. We are ready to go on the vault. Vault is ready. Authentic is coming up. And we will drop that practice squad. We'll preview it together. Show you guys what it's all about, Colin. Excellent. I think it's 35, we said, right, for the practice squad? I think that's right, yeah. All right, 1 to 35. Oh, yeah, for boxes, yes. Nope, I see it. Actually, I'll show it off real quick. Uh, you could put up a double in that too, Colin, right? Let's do that's it. That's what I was already doing. Uh, Colin already ahead of it. So this is a football mixer. 35 boxes, we got, let's see, 7, 9, 11 photo headliners. Almost a 
a one in three chance. Uh, I'm going to confirm this right now. I believe those helmets are all authentic. Uh, the McCaffrey obviously is a mini helmet, CMC. Uh, he tied the record for most consecutive games with a touchdown, uh, tying the great Lenny Moore's record, Colin. I think he's going to break it. Uh, he's going to break it. Uh, not this week, though, because he's got a bye week. Not this week. And I'm glad that he's got a bye week because the guy I'm playing in my personal fantasy league has McCaffrey. <laughs> so that's going to help me big time. All right, so these helmets, just to clarify, Colin. They're all authentic. All authentic, yes. Mm -hmm. CMC's the mini. Uh, so we have autographed slabs of Joe Montana, Ray Lewis. Uh, Lawrence Taylor, Sports Illustrated, autographed photo cover. Uh, then Aiden Hutchinson, obviously, that salute the service. Uh, authentic. Uh, one of the best young pass rushers in football. We got Terry Bradshaw. Uh, the bus, Jerome Bettis, two Steeler legends. Derrick Henry playing tonight. Uh, Titans and Steelers. Actually, got Steelers and Titans. Perfect, right? They both play tonight. Justin Jefferson, number one all-time receiving yards per game. Cannot wait to see him back on the field. Saquon Barkley, flash authentic. Justin Herbert, flash authentic. Uh, a lot of great names in the practice squad. And then we have other names. Marshall Falk, Tim Brown, Amon Ross St. Brown, George Pickens, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, Troy Polamalu. So, Steeler fans... Beware. Uh, you should jump in, right? And we should jump in. Uh, Pickens, Palomalu, Bettis, Bradshaw. Good break for Steelers Nation, Colin. Mm -hmm. So we'll get you guys set up for your vault break. Regimal, Taglicod. Regimal will be in that practice squad break and the diamond break. Because he's a Charger fan. He sees Tomlinson in the diamonds. He sees Herbert in the practice squad. He sees... I'm jumping in, right? He's ready. He's ready. Reggie Tags, what's up, brother? Longtime customer who comes in once in a while now. Hopefully you're doing good, man. Uh, we got Elijah Harkness, relatively new person. Courtney Sim, she's new, feels like a staple. Ron Richards, he's new, feels like a staple. Longtime customer, Darcy Standish. We got Ian Stefan and Brandon Fairbanks. Ian and Brandon, what are your squads? I don't know their squads. Do you know their squads, Colin? And I Elijah, don't. for that matter, as well. I do not, off the top of my head. So, let me know, guys, what teams you like. Uh, nine clicks for the last vault here. So, Ron in the NFC North. Uh, we got the NFC South is Brandon. Darcy's got the NFC East. Uh, we got Reginald NFC West. Courtney AFC North. Elijah AFC South. Ian AFC East. And Brandon in the AFC West. Vault Authentic coming up. The Vault. What a fun series this was. Honestly, I was a little disappointed because I thought we took too long to clear out the Vault, Colin. Yeah, it was fun yesterday. At least yeah. it was fun when it did. Yeah, that was a blast for you guys. That ripped Speedflex Elway. I never saw it. I'm sad about it. It might be the coolest ripped helmet I've ever seen. It's, it would look cool on the graphic in the video. Well, speaking of Denver, now this guy was rumored to be traded, but they held on to him. Uh, one of the most talented young receivers, former Bolitnikoff Award winner in Alabama. He's usually right at like 900, 1,000 yards. Uh, beautiful Lunar Authentic, AFC West, Brandon Fairbanks. Let's go, Brandon. Judy, 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 Judy. Jerry, Jerry. Uh, nice get for Mr. Fairbanks. Okay, Colin. I see him. We see you, Brandon. Uh, very cool. Absolutely. Denver really shocked a lot of people, uh, including myself, uh, this week when they took out the Chiefs. That was one of the stunners in the National Football League. Was it not, Colin? Yeah, I would say it was exhilarating. It was, <laughs> well, not the word I would use, but uh, definitely a big-time win for them. I was shocked. I, I got one, says Brandon, right? It starts with one, and then you work your way up, and you keep on winning. That's what happens. Uh, Ron was looking for a Packer helmet. Uh, maybe soon, Ron. We do get a, a lot of cheese heads here in the break room. That's for sure. Plenty. Uh, so there we go. Brandon Fairbanks. Hey, I got one. If it's fair, it's fair. So how about some score predictions tonight, guys? Uh, we have the Titan Steelers. You get the exact score right. We will send you a $30 gift card. Uh, I... I got to think about this one, Colin, because 
I mean, Will Levis is starting. Pittsburgh's at home. Their rush defense is not good, though. Derrick Henry's good at running. Oh, man. I don't know. What do you think? I'm taking Pittsburgh in a very boring game. Okay. I think it's going to be like 17 to 10 or something. Over under 36 and a half. You're going under. Easy under. Okay. I think it's going to under two. I will go 17 16 Steelers. Ooh, uh, I like that score. Yeah. I think you go either way. If you think my score is a little unique, how about M. Light saying 23 18 Steelers? 18. Wow. Is that you six get field goals? Or yeah. maybe they go for two, they miss one, they miss two, a PAT. Yeah. Go for two, get to 15, kick a field goal to get to 18. 18 is. That's a tough score. It's possible. Did you see we had a, we had a score Gami last week? Which yeah. Which doesn't happen very often The uh, in the Dallas game. Score that's never been done before. 43-20? Or what was, no, was it 43? 43, what was it? Let me go look. No, it wasn't 26, maybe? 43-20. 43 43-20, yeah. Yeah, interesting. First time in NFL history. First that a game's been 43-20? Yep. Shocking. First ever. First ever. How about that? It's like the thousandth one, thousand something one. Mm. Okay, well, there's the first time for everything. Uh, Nick Line says 24-10 Pittsburgh. Daniel Kyler says 23-20 Steelers. Oh boy, I'm starting to think maybe the I want to change. Are gonna win. I want to change my pick. That's what I'm saying, Colin. <laughs> I'm starting to. I'm starting to get a different feeling. Ronnie says five to four Steelers. I will. I will send Ronnie a hundred dollars if it's five to four. Steelers. I will send him a hundred of Matt's money and a hundred of my money. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, Matt. Five to four. Five to four. We're talking three safeties and a field goal. Yeah, <laughs> that that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. No, not happening at all. I wonder how much money you'd win on that. <laughs> if you Probably a lot. Actually picked it. There was some Mizzou football game that ended 9-6 like seven, eight years ago, Colin. That makes a little more sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Five to four. Five to four. <laughs> I love it. There was a game. It was the Rams and Buccaneers in the NFC Championship the year the Rams won the Super Bowl. There was a safety in the game, and it was like... 11 to 5 at one point, and then the Rams got like a touchdown and won it late or something. I love when there's just weird scores. It's like, what? How did how did that happen? Game hasn't started, so you don't know. We don't know anything. True. A game is tape delayed. Ronnie already watched it. Oh shoot. He's got the he's got the book. He's got the script. Yeah. Well we got a double box break coming up in the practice squad, Colin, right? Yeah, that was fast. That was quick. Brandon yeah. Collins is ready to see what's in there. I was thinking this series is going to... I don't know. You're in again on Saturday, right? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You and Noctambulo, the Silver Fox. Uh, so I... You may not see this series on Saturday. But yeah. who knows if Alex will see it tomorrow, though. We'll see, right? Uh, so practice squad. Number one. Double drop me. Two box numbers, guys. Uh, for the practice squad. I'm pretty sure if the game ended 5-4, to four, it also, that's probably a score got me as well. I don't think that's that, ever been... There's not a part. chance. Okay, are you looking it up? Yeah. 5-4. to four. That's that's unique, man. That's as unique as it gets. That's... Yeah, I just, it's not going to happen, Colin. Uh, if, if Ronnie predicts that... Uh, he, he's got the script. The NFL sent him the script, right? I think it has happened. Really? Maybe not. Hold on. They might just be explaining it. All Is right, well, I'm going to get the numbers set up. But, but we got Amanda and then Brandon Collins. So, Brandon, drop me two numbers. Amanda, drop me two. I'll give you guys about 20 seconds. Otherwise, I will let the wheel decide. Brandon really wants to see this break. Yeah, he does. Now, that is a baseball score, Nick. Yeah, that's definitely a baseball score. Uh, <laughs> the World Series is over, Ronnie. The World Series <laughs> is over. Uh, as we know, Ronnie definitely, you know, is an interesting guy, right? Interesting picks. Um, so, two-point conversion return, says uh, William. Yeah, but how, where would it be a two-point conversion? There's not even six points for anyone, Colin. I don't, it looks like it's never been done. Never been done? 
Uh, Amanda wants 29. Brandon wanted 13 and 23. So, Brandon, Amanda was first with 29. Would you like 13 or 23? You can have one of those, uh, but not both. Brandon Collins. Not both. You ain't taking both numbers. Unless he jumps in the next one, then he calls out one of them, right? Yeah. Yeah, then he, then he could take both. Yeah. It's either lucky number 13 or the MJ box. He says, I want lucky number 13. Okay, okay. 13 and 29. All right. So we got 14 to 28 and then 30 to 35. Good old practice squad. Yeah, I think this is going to go pretty quickly, Colin. I think this break is going to be probably the hottest break in the room. I mean, look, if I wanted to pick which one I want to be the hottest, I would definitely pick the diamonds because it's got the best stuff in there and it's all authentic. But knowing our current customer base, this is the one that they're going to gravitate to tonight. All right, so Amanda's got the NFC West. Brandon, uh, you've got the rest, man. Uh, you've got the rest in the practice squad double box break. Thank you, sir. Sutters. All right, the first box here, 29 on the way. The LeGarrette's Blunt Box. Blunt Force Trauma, Colin. What if LeGarrette Blunt's in here? That'd be that cool. Be, that'd be funny. That'd be funny. You want a Super Bowl with the Eagles? He did win a Super Bowl with the Eagles. And two with the Patriots. Two with the Patriots. But enough about LeGarrette Blunt. Enough about him. Uh, this guy is playing in the game tonight. Uh, very talented wide receiver for the Steel Curtain. It's Deontay Johnson. Nice. Uh, it is Beckett certified QR sticker uh, on the mini helmet there. Brandon Collins had a boatload of the spots. Uh, Brandon Collins has the Deontay Johnson mini helmet, Colin. All right, all right. All right, Brandon. All right, sir. Uh, good stuff, man. A uh, good hit on your Deontay Johnson. So Pittsburgh has a pretty talented receiving core. I mean, him and George Pickens, they got to figure out the quarterback spot, no doubt. Uh, Deontay Johnson last week, Colin, eight catches, 85 yards, and a uh, you know very, very good performance against the Jaguars. Uh, it's him and Pickens are both kind of, you know, B, 1A, 1B. Look at what he did last year. 882 yards the year before 1161 the one before that 923 mm -hmm. so guy puts up some yards he had eight touchdowns in 2021 uh, his talent is undeniable uh deontay johnson yeah that's his biggest problem he hasn't scored a touchdown in 21 games yeah that's that's yeah, putting the yards up julio jones-esque he's getting one tonight bet on it <laughs> uh, i'm thinking about it I think I'm going to bet on uh, Derrick Henry over rush yards, Colin. That's probably not. I idea. haven't done it yet, but I think I might. King Henry. I don't think I have any bets on football tonight. Okay. I'm not a fan of this football game. Yeah, yeah. And that's true. I, I kind of agree with you. I think it's going to be low scoring, but we'll see. Well, you never know. You that's never why know. they play the game. Watch it. it ends up being 34-33 or something crazy like that. 5-4. That's probably more likely. <laughs> TJ Watt uh, gets two safeties and they lose. Mm -hmm. I think I read a team has never finished with four points. Never? Never. It makes sense. It does make sense. Oh, this is identical to what we have in the Oink series, Colin. Uh, this is the best bear receiver. Uh, how about DJ Moore? Uh, number two on the football. Uh, that's Brandon Collins in the NFC North. Uh, we got the Beckett QR code right there on the football. Uh, nice get there, Brandon. I had three straight 1,000-yard receiving seasons with the Panthers, Colin. He finished just under 1,000 yards last season. Could get to 1,000 this year. If he does, that's a massive accomplishment because Chicago Bay receivers uh, don't often accomplish that feat. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with you. It is pretty rare that our hometown Chicago Bears get that done. He's got almost 700 yards in eight games, so I think he's going to do it. Okay. 
All right, let's go. Let's go. Nice be, things, guys. That'd be pretty sad if he couldn't get 300 yards in the last nine games of the season. Yeah, Ron says Derek will get stopped with the rush tonight. Ooh. I did see on ESPN, Colin, that the Pittsburgh Steelers are bottom five against the run in the NFL this year. That's not great. Uh, so, I mean, look, Derek Henry has kind of done pretty good the last few weeks. It was a little bit of a slow start. Uh, he is healthy. He's looking good. Uh, he is still a guy that can put up insane numbers. Speaking of Derrick Henry, he's out there in this series, Colin, right? On an authentic helmet. So uh, come and get King Henry uh, should you want. Meant to be. So what are we doing next? This is, I mean, we're going to have another DJ Moore football, right? Because there's only five footballs left. And DJ Moore is still out there in that Oink series, which is only two to go in the double. And actually wide open in the single. So what are we attacking next, guys? What are we thinking next? We've got some NBA tonight as well, Colin. That's where my money's going. Ooh, what in particular? Uh, I've been riding this Dennis Schroeder's assists. Have okay. Been insane. So the over? Yeah, a lot of a lot of assists. Well, he played great in that uh, World Basketball Championship FIBA with Germany, and he is still rolling coming back from that. He's still like a really good, just pure point guard, you know? Yeah, he's good. I like, I enjoy the old school point like guard. A, like a CP3? Yeah, like a, like a Rondo, except he's a better shooter than Rondo. Yeah, Rondo, I remember him. Uh, he was the playoff Rondo, as they call him. All right, I'm gonna reset the break page, give you guys a top to bottom rundown real quick. Uh, so the practice squad, we did two boxes, Colin. Uh, 35 box series. We have, what did I say earlier? I, I got to look at this. 11 headliners left, 33 boxes left. 11 photoed headliners, one in three chance at a photoed headliner in the practice squad. I think there's seven authentic helmets in here. Uh, they're all in the graphic for the practice squad. Two to go in the Oink football break. Six to go in the diamond quad. Seven to go in the diamond double. How many headliners are left? All of them but the Aaron Rodgers, which is... You know, maybe the biggest one, but there's so many other big ones, right? Oh, yeah. uh, a guy like Tua, his value is only going to go up. You know, we got the sick Julio Jones helmet, LT, Saquon, Aikman, Moss. Uh, by the way, this is the Hydro Peterson with the visor. Uh, that thing is, is bonkers. Uh, here's the Julio Jones on the Speed Flex. This is you know, awesome. Julio Jones got in the end zone for your Eagles over the weekend. Yeah, he did. Are you pumped to have him? Yeah, why not? Right? Veteran leadership out there. No I mean, he's, weapon. He's probably like the fourth option in the passing game, right? Behind, yeah. you know, the two receivers and Goddard. If he's number four, you're pretty good. That's solid. Eagles legend, Julio Jones. All right. Uh, three spots left in the jerseys. Uh, speaking of legends, how about a Bears legend, Mike Ditka? Uh, we got Kurt Warner, who's number one all time in playoff. Passing yards per game, Jay Jettas uh, led the league in receiving yards last season. Donovan McNabb, Jamal Charles, Eric Dickerson, Earl Campbell. A lot of goodies in there. Uh, Diamond helmets, 87 bucks a spot. Uh, a lot of these authentics are worth, you know, more than four or five times that, Colin. Uh, so come and get these. All these headliners available minus Rogers. Six to go on the slab single. All the headliners left. Actually, six to go on the double, which... In the double box break, you can get Aaron Rodgers and Bart Starr. That's not Eli bad. Manning and Jalen Hurts. That's not bad. Those are some good double up possibilities. That Jalen Hurts card looks sick. It is nice. Five to go in the minis. Uh, let's chase that Jefferson. Only eight minis left. I got another Steeler in here as well, Heinz Ward. Uh, so two awesome receivers available in there. Eight to go in the oink break. Only three left in the slab single. 30 bucks a spot. The names are so big, Colin. You hit any one of those headliners, it is, as I always say, whether it's a napkin, you know, a post-it note, it's still worth it. And then for 34 bucks in the practice squad, for 34 bucks, you can get yourself a Justin Jefferson authentic, a Justin Herbert authentic. For 34 bucks, Colin. Those lids might be worth more than 20 times that. You That's can get crazy. it for 34 bucks. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty Something good to think about. Uh, by the way, Steeler fans, you get the AFC North, you get Bettis and Bradshaw all with one spot. You are hashtag cooking. 
So let's get that practice squad uh, off and running, and let's get these breaks moving. Uh, I'm thinking probably Oink is next. Only one spot to go in the double. Jerseys are three to go. Maybe right behind that. It is Thirsty Thursday, Colin. You buy six or more break spots. You select the jerseys with one of those spots. You get that spot for free. For free? For free. So what are we thinking, guys, in the breaks? I think it's going to be jerseys. Ooh, a jersey break. Are people using that Thirsty Thursday today, Colin? I think just Dar so far. So Darcy is a break room vet. Uh, guys, if you're going to buy five or more break spots, select them in the same cart, uh, in the same order, and you select the jersey with one single spot at the end, that spot is yours for free. It actually could be nine break spots, ten break spots, eleven. It just has to be minimum six Colin mm -hmm. and then the jersey spot selected separately <laughs> yes selected separately but in the same card yes correct so jerseys are coming up Jason Boyda Darcy Standish Jason Boyda Brandon Fairbanks so turnover battle jersey number two uh, go ahead and drop me a box number folks and then is the oink ready no, so. the practice squad is ready. I was about to say, I think the practice squad double. Ooh, is that Brandon again? No, Walter Duncan taking his his shot. What up, Walter? Uh, Walter was doing this the other night. He was chasing a Tyree Kill mini helmet. And guess what, Colin? He got it. He got it. Hey. Uh, what up, Jason Boyda? He wants 25. Thank you, Jason. Uh, 25 here, Colin, is what we call the steroid box. The shady box. Yeah, I guess for you. Mm -hmm. I think of Bonds, Pomero, and Maguire, but Shady McCoy, LaShawn McCoy, number 25. That's right. Reggie Bush was 25 as well. Reggie Bush was 25. In the NFL. That's correct. A whoop, says Duncan. What up? Whoop, whoop. Does he have all the spots? He does not have all the spots. He does so. not have all the spots. So hold off a second. I'll ask for numbers once I get done with this break. 25. And Daniel Ackert sneaking in there with the first two. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, Jason Boyd up top in the NFC North. We got Brandon Fairbanks in the NFC South, NFC East. Darcy Standish stand up in the NFC West. Now we got Brandon Fairbanks, AFC North, Darcy, AFC South, Jason, AFC East, and Jason, AFC West. Ooh, that's a great question. I don't think so, Ronnie. Ronnie says, have you guys ever seen a Marshawn Lynch on a cow helmet in the break room? Oh, I don't. I, I haven't I, seen it. I've actually seen a Marshawn Lynch cow slab card, but not a helmet. I've seen a Seahawks one and a Raider one. Actually, I've seen a Buffalo Bill one too, Colin. Uh, but not cow, at least not yet. Not yet. That's Never what Ronnie. That. That's what Ronnie wants. He wants that cow golden bear. Pretty sick. Ooh, baby. We got the heat. And this is the most underrated quarterback ever, maybe, Colin. Uh, number one all-time in playoff passing yards per game. He's a two-time league MVP, a Super Bowl MVP. Not bad for a guy who was working at a grocery store, right? Kurt Warner, uh, the custom Cardinal jersey. Beckett certified QR sticker on the jersey. Uh, we got Darcy Standish, two spot in that, in that break. Well worth it, Darcy, for your Kurt Warner jersey. Yeah, say. Darcy, Darcy, Darcy. It's how she does, Colin. Uh, taking home the Warner. Yeah, and the Cardinals. I was really hoping they were going to win that Super Bowl. Me too. Didn't happen. Me too. Um, I was a big Warner fan. He was probably my second favorite quarterback behind Peyton Manning at the time. I liked Larry Fitz. I had nothing against the Steelers at all, personally, Me, but... I just wanted to see the Cardinals get one, the underdog. Uh, they were close. Great Super Bowl. Uh, dang Santonio Holmes, right? And also, uh, Harrison was big in that game. Oh, massive. Uh, that lost me uh, Super Bowl squares when he had that return. <laughs> was, no, 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 and, no, no. And then I vowed to never do squares again. Oh, and then we got him here at work, and I still haven't won. I think Steven won this last year. What a jerk. Jerk. <laughs> Steven, how dare you? Uh, great pull, congrats, says Brandon. 
Uh, yeah, indeed. What up, Dars? Darcy Standish doing what she does best. Taking home W's, Colin. Like a Kurt Warner. Let me write this up one more time because I flipped the sticker backwards. Then we do have that oink break is ready, huh? Mm-hmm. And we have practice squad is ready. Got four boxes coming. Woo! Let's get it. Let's get it. Somebody call 911. There's some heat in the break room. Who do you call for the fire department, isn't it? What number is it, Colin? I think it's still 911. I think so, it? too. I don't know. we got to get him on standby and find out. I'm because... pretty sure because you call 911 and it goes to a dispatcher and they ask you what your emergency is, right? And yeah. Tell them and then they get you to where you need to go. The break room is burning with heat. <laughs> Please nobody call 911. <laughs> Bar Ridge, <laughs> call him up. Call him up. Tell him just bring pizza. We're hungry. <laughs> All right. I think the fire department's pretty close to here, isn't it? I think so. So if, if we ever do break, you know, have a fire because of all the heat, they'll take care of us. Yeah, we're good. They're always on standby. All right. All right. So practice squad is next. Practice squad double number one. Uh, go ahead and drop me two box numbers. Daniel Ackert and Walter Duncan. Then we got the oink on the way. And we will keep the party going here at UA, Colin. Uh, just the way I like it, man. Uh, Jersey break is coming up soon. Only two spots left. And then already got uh, three left in the slabs and already five left in the practice squad single. Oh, he wants the bookends. One in 35. The first and the last. The bookends. The bookends, right? He wants Kyler Murray and Frank Thomas, Colin. Two guys that are very different in size. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. All right, that works. Thank you, Walter. All right. Good luck, folks. Let's see that heat. What can happen in a double box break? One spot can win you two things. I mean, Walter's got the six, but Daniel's got the two. Daniel could clean this break out as well, Colin. You never know. Never say never in the break room. I would never. Oh, I like that. Except you just did. All right, so we got ourselves Daniel in the NFC North. Uh, we have, let's see here, a Walter in the NFC South, East and West. Uh, we got uh, AFC North is Walter. AFC South is Daniel. Walter's got the AFC East as well in here. How's it going, fellas? Miss anything? Well, we have a new series in the room, Sean. Uh, it is the practice squad, so... That AFC North did not highlight, but let me make sure. Uh, that is Walter in the AFC North. Let me see if I click this here, Colin. What's up, Sean? Okay, so that is... I gotta make sure I don't click that part. But that is Walter in that North. Walter Duncan. Sean Jacobson is a Chief fan, Colin. And he got himself uh, that uh, Kelsey the other day. Salute to service authentic. T. Kelsey. Kels. A lot of cool uh, Kelsey and Taylor Swift costumes I saw oh, yeah. on Halloween. I saw Jason Kelsey and uh, Travis Kelsey. I did. I saw the same thing. That was adorable. Ooh. What should every man get a woman more often than all of us do, Colin? Uh, flowers. Oh, look at that! Well, you know where I'm headed, right? Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers <laughs> on the Flash Mini. Uh, the talented young wide receiver, first round pick for the Ravens. That's the AFC Ooh, North. Nice. Walter Duncan, congrats on your Zay Flowers, good sir. All right, Walter. Nicely done, brother. Dude's an animal. Yeah, right? Are you talking about Walter or Zay Flowers? Both. Okay, yeah, figures. He's the number one guy right there, Colin. He is the... Number one wide out for the Ravens. You know, they got OBJ, but Zay Flowers is the go-to guy at wide receiver. Obviously, Mark Andrews is very good as well. Uh, Ravens got a squad this year. They've got a, you know, potentially a, a legitimate contender. Uh, just got to keep Lamar Jackson healthy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Zay Flowers currently leads the team with 461 receiving yards and 44 catches this year. 
Uh, the talented young star. Yeah, going to be right around that 1,000-yard receiving yard mark. The only thing he needs to do is a little bit more touchdown production. But right. I think he'll get it. He'll get there. Xavier Kavan Flowers. Ooh, I like that name. I think a lot of the touchdown production goes down to what do they do in the red zone? Uh, or they, they even Lamar throw running. it to Andrews or Lamar Jackson runs, right? Yeah. So, I, I mean, obviously you want to get touchdowns, but I really don't blame him so much for for that personally. So, nice flash mini. Uh, good start for Walter in this break. Yeah, it's a great, great flash. Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's your second favorite, right, Colin? Second favorite. Everyone's got a favorite and everyone's got a second favorite. So, good job, Walter. Wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This one feels a little bit heavier. I don't know if it's rep or authentic, though. Sometimes I confuse myself, Colin. <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> it's not a slap card. <laughs> it's multiple slap cards. Mm, I don't think so. It's either rep or authentic. Oh, I think it's, oh, it's a rep. Oh, okay. It's a former gold medalist in the Olympic Games. One of the fastest receivers and people of all time, member of the 85-86 Bears Super Bowl team, with the Super Bowl champion inscription, it's Willie Galt. Uh, nice. nice get right there, Daniel Ackert, PSA certified on your Willie Galt full-size rep. Nice. Uh, so, very good. Uh, it was the, um, you know, the Boycott Olympics in 1980. Colin got a gold medal uh, with America in the 4x100, uh, Mr. Uh, Willie Galt. Yeah, he fast. He's really fast. Yeah, Manny says, wow, new room, right? It's Manny. beautiful. What's up, Manny? Manny, it's been a long time, man. That's the Packer fan, I was about right? I say, I think Cheesehead Nation. Yeah, yeah right? And uh, and Manny is such a nice guy, Colin, that I even like him, even though I'm a Bear fan. Uh, so that's just, that's just who Manny is. Wow. I always picture him being the adult version of Manny for Modern Family. Oh, that's okay. that's why I picture him to be that type of guy. And I like Manny from Modern Family, so I hence think, I like Manny Abrego. They may be nothing alike, but that's who I picture in my head. I think of Manny Pacquiao. Oh, how about awesome. Manny Ramirez? How about Manny Machado? I can't think about uh -huh. Manny. You <laughs> got won. me. He says, <laughs> been a while. Yeah. We've only been in the new room, what, three weeks, Colin? Three, four it feels like forever now. We're settled in, right? Yeah, yeah, probably about a month. Yeah. It's been a fantastic month. So, good job, Daniel, on the Willie Galt. But it's Purdy in here. A Brock Purdy. I don't Point. have any more Purdy's. <laughs> okay. Ever since Colin uh, hyped him up, you put the curse on excuse, Brock Purdy. Excuse you. I did as well, but I think <laughs> I it was say, you. That was a team effort. All right. I just know we sat on this show and we talked to Brock Purdy and how good he is and how he's legit and how much we like him. And ever since that, they've lost three straight games and Brock yeah. Purdy has not looked Purdy. Not looked Purdy. So it was the UA curse. Sorry, Niners Nation. I'm not too upset about it. It's what we do. You're not too upset? Why would I be upset? I don't know. <laughs> oh, because they're the Eagles competition? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I'm fine. With, I want the one seed. Uh, Get him out of here. I, I think the Eagles are in prime position, uh, Colin. They still got a gauntlet to go through here. Yeah, they got 2-0 so far through. Tough schedule. I think they're beating Dallas this weekend. What do you think? I hope so. I'm gonna. It, Sunday's going to be amped. I'm going to have a lot of fun Sunday. Yeah, wake up at 8.30, watch the Chiefs and Dolphins. Uh, what what time is the Eagles kick? Is it noon? Uh, no, 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock game. No, so 3.20, 3.05, whatever. Mm -hmm. Then you got the primetime game, Bills and uh, Bengals. There's yeah. a lot. Of, and noon window is the red zone. So it's perfect, it's right? It's perfect. Yeah, it's, Sunday's uh, going to be beautiful. Match made in heaven. So two box numbers. I'll give you guys about 30 seconds here. Otherwise, I will let our uh, wheel decide. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. One spot left in the jersey break. That is coming up next. Uh, we got M. Light uh, looking for 14 and 25. That is Jason. Jason Boyda. All right, sir. Thank you. 14 and 25 going off our ticker. So, yeah, so the, last, the next double that's up is the last double. Last double, last single. 
Last call on footballs. Uh, Darcy says, go Bills, but ain't gonna lie. A little Bills. bit nervous. Yeah. yeah, the Bills... That's fair. They evict those emotions. Uh, they they often look like the best team in football. Then once in a while, Colin, they look like the 32nd best team in football. It's usually more towards number one. A lot of times it's, you know, three or four, but sometimes they look like 30 to 32 range. They're... Yeah. I mean, a lot more ups than downs, but there is a little inconsistency there with the Bills, especially with Josh Allen, who, you look up the numbers, he's insane. But then you also have those moments where you're like, oh my God, what just happened? Yeah, what the heck was that? Uh, so, injuries are killing us, says Darcy. Uh, Tony saying 14 and 24, almost the same. I am light wanted 14 and 25. It's kind of funny because you could see potentially two AFC Championship matchups this week between the Dolphins and Chiefs and then Bengals and Bills. Oof. But none of those, well, it, at least one team is missing in that because Baltimore is going to be in the AFC Championship, I think. Ooh. Baltimore. Look, I said Chiefs, Dolphins in the preseason. I got to stick with that. Uh, but we'll see. I think it's going to be Baltimore and Kansas City. Oh, I like the Kansas City part of it. Well, I still got Kansas City, Philadelphia Super Bowl rematch. Okay. I'm starting to lean that way. My preseason pick was Chiefs and Niners. I do think when they get Debo Samuel healthy, it's going to help Brock a lot, but uh, we'll see. I think it's going to be Lions Eagles NFC Oof. Championship. I I can't trust the Lions that far in the playoffs, Colin. But I don't know. Maybe that's just years of past history that really should have nothing to do with it. But the Lions in the NFC Championship just doesn't. <laughs> it feels weird. It doesn't compute. That's like uh, a when pigs fly kind of thing. Right? Hey, we got pigs here. Oink, oink! <laughs> uh, we got Ron in the NFC North looking for DJ Moore. Troy's got the NFC South. Darcy's looking to stand up in the NFC East. Jason, NFC West. Tony Gonzalez, the Chiefs legendary tight end in the AFC North. Jason Boyda, AFC South and East. And Ron Richards, AFC West. So Ron's in the DJ Moore money spot. Ooh, Ron, Ron. We got the Ernie Banks box coming up here, Colin. 14. Let's go. 14 of 30. Well, well, oh, hold on. I still have the randomizer up. Hold on. Let me get the randomizer <laughs> oh down. Oh, my God. These people are like, I want to see Common and Colin's face. <laughs> yeah, well, know. he's got the DJ Moore spot, and he's got the DJ hey. Moore football. This is a, a junior size football, Colin, it says. But it's a ah, nice one. That's fun. National Football <laughs> League. Uh, one of the best young receivers in the NFL. Uh, Ron Richards. Congrats on DJ Moore. Uh, so, like I said earlier, Carolina Panthers. You know, he didn't really have a great quarterback, Colin. He ended up having over three straight 1,000-yard seasons. Then he was just under 1,000 last year. On his way to 1,000 this year as well. I swear I'm not clicking this randomizer. There's something spooky is going on here. It just went up it's, again. It's Colin. two days late for spooky season. It is spooky season. Woot, says Ron. Woot, woot. I don't think I've ever seen a junior size football in here. That's that's exciting. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is... Now, this was clicking too, but I was like... I think this was on that. So maybe I accidentally... The knife hit the keyboard. Maybe that's what hit the randomizer. Oh, boy. That's spooky, Colin. Uh, spooky, so, spooky. Congratulations, sir. He's pumped. Uh, I don't blame him one bit. Ron Richards with the DJ Moore. Uh, Sean says, got to go with the home team, but I'd love to see the Bills Mafia celebrating, right? It's going to uh, be a good game. Well, Bengals did celebrate in Buffalo last year. Uh, definitely going to be a good game, though, no doubt, Colin. Could not agree more. Gremlins in the break room, says Ron, right? That's what it feels like, right? I honestly think that the knife was touching the keyboard, Colin. And I was like, what the heck? You ever see the movie Gremlins? I think I have seen it, but it was a long time ago. Solid, I don't remember it. Flick. I don't remember it too well. Well, little gizmo? I had the gizmo. That was my lizard's name. You, your lizard's name was gizmo? Yeah. Was it named after the gremlin in Gremlins? <laughs> uh, well, actually, it's possible. Uh, my mom's work friend gave him to us so we could have a pet when we were kids. So she actually named him. Oh, maybe uh, it is. But I don't know. Gizmo, my mom let him out of his cage one time, and we would let him out sometimes just to like roam around the house, uh -huh. and she forgot about him. Oh no. And he got cold in the winter, and what do they do when they get cold? They shed. She freaked out, she threw him out the window, then he died. 
It oh was terrible. I, I came back. It was when I was in college. I came back for Thanksgiving break. I was like, where's Gizmo? She's like, oh, he's he's gone. I was he like, gone. thanks, Mom. Never even told me. Wow. Poor yeah, Gizmo. Poor guy. Uh, box 25 coming up. 25 of 30. Ooh. It's not Steve Myers, Colin. Seth Myers. It's not Seth Myers. Jacoby. Jacoby! Third <laughs> time's the charm. Jacoby Myers, uh, the current Raider receiver. He was in the end zone against the Bears a few weeks ago. Uh, that's the AFC West. It's back to back. Ron Richards. Yeah, Ron. Let's go, Ron. Let's go, Ron. Uh, it was a double box break. The guy got two spots. And guess what, Colin? They both paid off here. Yeah, I would say. Nicely done. The bookends again. NFC North, AFC West. Right? Something about that, those divisions working well for Ron. Yeah, don't feed him after midnight and don't get him wet. Otherwise, they turn angry. I'm talking about the lizards? <laughs> Technically, Gizmo. Okay. Uh, I've got a jersey break coming up, Colin. Gizmo. Gizmo. Let me see. Because he is adorable. I just keep thinking of my gizmo. I don't want the costume. Why does it show me the costume? Did you dress up for Halloween, Colin? Uh, no. I was a conehead on the air for the first, like, 15 well, minutes. I walked in. I was like, what the heck is that? And then, oh, yeah. Is it still here? Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, I need to bring it, bring it home. Uh, William Maynard made another remark. He said I had a certain something on my head that I won't repeat. Oh, boy. Yeah, <laughs> but it was not... It was actually the very opposite of PG-13. It was rated very M.A. Oh, boy. As M.A. as it can get. See, look how cute he is. He gives me Oh, that, that is, is adorable. Cute, right? Football's have been pretty lucky for me, says Ron. Congrats, man. Uh, congrats on your dub. Hey, we got three more of them. All right. right. Keep getting lucky. Get them. Turnover battle jerseys number three. Uh, go ahead and drop me a box number. I always say when you get hot in the break room... Uh, get in the diamonds to get the real heat, Colin. But uh, look, right. for him out, he'd probably clear out the footballs while they're still available. Because honestly, tomorrow, we may have no footballs left, right? Maybe no footballs. There's only two breaks up of that series, then it's done. And I know we have the night show coming up. I'll ask for score predictions at night as well. Uh, but if you do have a score prediction in the Steelers-Titan game, let me know. Uh, Darcy looking for 2929. Thank you, Darcy. Uh, 29 should work in the jerseys, Colin. Look at it blunt again. Look at it blunt again. So Darcy's got most of these. Larry and Mike each have one. Turnover battle jersey, although I'm pretty sure Darcy didn't actually pay for six of these, right? Uh, she did not. Okay, so you got the one because of Thirsty Thursday. You buy six or more break spots. You select the jersey in your cart with one of them. You get that spot for free. It's a uh, Thursday-only deal, Thursday-only special here in the break room. She's making it work for her so far. Already up a Kurt Warner. And that's a headliner. Mm -hmm. So worth it for five spots, Colin. Let's see what happens here. Uh, so we got, uh, let's see. So I'm going to read the ones Darcy doesn't have. Larry's got the NFC East. And Mike, who was on fire in the room the other day, he's got the AFC West. He's back for more. Back for more. How'd the lotto go, Mike? He told us he was going to play the lotto. He was so hot. Oh. Oh, my God. He's still hot. Oh, my God. He's still hot. Uh, we got ourselves Bad Moon Rising. Yeah. Andre Rising on the Chiefs, Colin. Uh, not on the Falcons, not on the Packers. Uh, a little bit more beautiful color scheme, in my opinion. Uh, the custom Andre Ryzen, the red and yellow, uh, PSA certified, over 10,000 receiving yards in his career, former Pro Bowler, Super Bowl champion. Uh, and look, he cheated on his girlfriend and she burned the house down. Oh, that Andre be a lesson, Ryzen, fellas. <laughs> right? Uh, so. And ladies. Uh, right? Dang, says Darcy. Congrats. Uh, she is very classy even in defeat. He was a great cup champ in Canada, too. Five-time Pro Bowler. Uh, so 84 receiving touchdowns for Andre Risen. That's a lot, Colin. That is a lot. Whole lot of touchdowns. Uh, nice get there. Mikey Mike Horgan. A little too uh, McDonald's-y for me. 
And remind, reminds me of uh, your favorite face paint you wore last year. Actually, that was this year, this February. That was that was this February. Wow. I have PTSD. Well, yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, what a week! Thank you, says Mike. Yeah, we got to come up with something. Is it? It's How many up. weeks? It's two weeks, right? So, yeah. Is nah. it not this Monday, the one after, or is it two after this weeks. one? I think the Eagles have a bye week after this week, and then okay. I think they play the Chiefs. So the it's week three after. weeks from this Monday. Yes. Okay, we got to come up with something clever. Mm -hmm. And it's probably going to be, it's in Kansas City. It's in Arrowhead. So am I, I mean, it's, listen, it's, I it's, gave you spread in the bears game I okay think, i think it's only fair i get spread in this oh game. you'll get spread okay yeah that's yeah, fair yeah, yeah. i right. think it's gonna be like minus two yeah, or minus three though yeah no you'll get spread that's fair but you know it's a it's, it's a tough place to play. it's a tough place to play It'll i mean i'm game. guessing that they say what two to three points is what the home field advantage is i'm guessing it's gonna be two to three points yeah. on the line i bet it's gonna be i bet it's two and a half yeah now trade that rising Mike says Kyle. Sorry, Kyle, we need to keep that one, says Mike. He knows the you know the beauty of a Chiefs jersey, why I should hang on to it, right? Yeah. Or uh the guy gets it. The best nickname. Bad Moon. Bad Moon. It is a good game. one. It is a good one. That's for favorite. sure. Top five, easy. Yeah. I like Pocket Hercules. Maurice Jones Drew. Mm -hmm. uh, Muscle that hamster. Is, that is nice. Uh what do you guys think? I think Colin were mostly open. Uh, so I'll do a quick top to bottom rundown. It is 532. We can keep going a little bit longer, guys, if you want this show. Otherwise, we'll pick it up again uh, tonight at 7 p.m. It's 4 and 7 Central Time at the current moment, 2 and 7 on Saturday and Sunday. But there might be some more show times coming up in the very, very near future, Colin. Is that right? That is very, very correct. Well, somebody should have told me that. No, uh, they, we told you. <laughs> you uh, what are you yeah. talking about? You missed the meeting this week, Colin. <laughs> you missed a lot. Yeah, I was on an airplane coming oh, back. Oh, sure. To a blizzard. Very, very convenient excuse. <laughs> very convenient. Believe me, I would have rather stayed. <laughs> <laughs> Gladly taken the meeting from Caroline's parents' balcony. Oh, okay. Beautiful there. They'd be like, who's that Bulgarian singing stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Uh, my, my first TV station job, I worked at the ABC station in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And there's a guy who sent an email asking, who's the Swede on the TV? And I'm like, I'm not even Swedish. Who's the Swede? <laughs> who's the Swede? And I was like, what? You kidding me? That's hilarious. Uh, I think we are ready for another turnover battle. Actually. All right. Uh, Colin uh, Williams says you're running the 2 a.m. show. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, well, that, <laughs> you got the graveyard. I got shit. the graveyard. Oh, my God. Wow. What a what an upgrade. <laughs> uh, anyone have a Jamar Charles or Gonzalez? They trade says Kyle. Uh, I know where you can find a Jamar Charles jersey in this current series, Colin. Mm -hmm. We might see one right now. And we could see the next one. Joshua and Darcy. Uh, jersey number four. Go ahead and drop me a box number uh, Sean says 20, 17 Steelers, 23, 14 Steelers. Not a single person has picked the Titans, Colin. In my frank switch. opinion, it's a 50-50 toss-up. I picked the Steelers. I might switch as well. Yep. I'm going to go 2017 Titans now. Okay. What Did you save it? Are you going to go back and redo in our pick em thing? Oh, shoot. That's right. oh, I shouldn't have brought it up. Yeah. Yeah, I might have to. All right. I mean, everyone's picking the Steelers tonight. It's it's a little overwhelming. It is a little overwhelming as well for me too, That's Colin. That's usually bad news. Right? Not bad moon. Bad news. Ooh, I, I see need to see one there. person pick the Titans, and instead I see somebody else. Nobody. Pick the Steelers. Everyone wants the Steelers. He wants to flip Kyle score. 23-14, Oh boy. Uh, so, Josh Wilkerson says seven. All right, thank you, Josh. He's looking for a snipe here, Colin. Lucky seven. Actually, we don't have seven, Josh. No. Uh, the no. ticker has three through six, nine, 10, 12, 14 to 20, 22, 23, 30, and 35. Here we go. Tony Gonzalez says 24, 17 Titans. All right, I feel better. <laughs> Tony! Uh, let's do 20 instead, Colin. Box 20. That's, easy. That's right on top. There we go. And Darcy says Titans, too. All right. 24, 21. Uh, Sean says, figure Vegas has to be right eventually. 
Uh, well, look at this. So uh, it's minus three for Pittsburgh, and the over-under is 36 and a half, hence why Sean's picked 2017. He's going with Vegas. Vegas. Uh, Josh needs the NFC East. And what are you looking for, McNabb maybe? I hope so. I think he's looking for McNabb in the NFC East. Donovan McNabb. Bubba Franks is grab. Who wouldn't want that? Uh, I mean, everyone wants it, apparently. He says, Philly all day, Colin. Woo! Uh, this man is a Philly guy. He gets it. Some people just get it. Well, instead, he's got the NFC North. Uh, but, you know, that could be Justin Jefferson. You could do my man a solid. Or it could be the coach, Mike Ditka. Couldn't do my man a solid. No, it's, <laughs> it's the, it's the random, randomizer, Colin. Josh is a Josh is a good dude. I've always said that. Twenty. Uh, well, I'll, I always say this: stand up, what Darcy. What's going on here? Darcy, stand this. Another beautiful jersey. Oh, this is what a winning jersey looks like, Colin. Uh, you know, a Super Bowl winning team. Uh, this guy actually won two Super Bowls with the Broncos. A uh, member of the hundred sack club, former Pro Bowl pass rusher, uh, one of the best to ever do it. The great Neil Smith. Uh, so Darcy says, oh, man, I want Jefferson. I don't blame you, Darce. Uh, Jay Jettas is still out there. This is PSA certified. Congrats, Darcy, on Neil Smith. Yeah. Well, now, what does this mean, Kyle Disler? Kyle Disler's out there, you know, watching the show. It means that Jamar Charles is next, right? The back-to-back <laughs> yeah, right. Chiefs. Uh, the next jersey we pull is going to be Jamar Charles. Uh, so I would say, Kyle, you need to jump in, brother. You need to jump in, make this happen. Let's see JC uh, here in the break room. That'd be nice. JC. Uh, love it. Nice hit, Darcy, says Sean. See, Sean's got this in sort of intelligence, Colin. He gets it. Uh, yeah. He gets it, I like, man. I like Sean, but, uh, uh, you know, a little misguided. That's all right. Kyle uh, as well, but that's okay, you know? All right. These guys are good guys. Uh, Daniel says, oh, no, Darcy left one spot open. Few luckily worked out this time, right? You hate to get sniped. I do say if you're going to get, you know, seven... Just get the eight. If you're going to get six, you might as well get the eight as well. But either way, it works for Darcy. She gets Neil Smith. No sniping here tonight. Uh, good news for everyone, Colin. The Jetta's still out there. Still out there. Donovan's still out there, Josh. Uh, you mean Jamal Charles. Well, him too. And the Coach Ditka. The coach. And Justin Jefferson. Yes. And Earl Campbell. That's a lot of people. And Eric Dickerson. Oh, you're not done. There's a lot of good stuff left. I think Eric Dickerson's is actually gone. So, is oh, he is gone? Jersey? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, so you, you're saying you didn't take it off the board, Colin. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Colin, <laughs> SMH. Yeah, he's, he's gone. We pulled him. That was, I think, the first break we did yesterday. Okay. Well, Kyle's offering up uh, a Beasley Flash Mini for that. Cole Beasley for Neil Smith. Michael Beasley, potentially. Probably Form, not. Former basketball player? Yeah, former basketball player. Yeah, I remember him. He's a Kansas State Wildcat, Miami Heat player. Uh, the Bulls were looking at him until they got the first overall pick, and they went Derrick Rose, which was a good pick because in hindsight, they would never know all the injuries, right? He won an MVP, though. That was fun. Yeah, I like that. Neil Smith for uh, Cole Beasley. Works out for both fans of teams. Uh, Sean says, been a fan since... The late 70s wasn't really a smart choice until recently, All right? right? So Sean's been through the grind. He's, he, he's, he's earned it. Uh, I became more of a Chiefs fan when I lived in Missouri, Colin. I was more of a casual guy when I was in college, like 2013. Uh, but then I covered some Chiefs games when I worked there in 2018. You know, fell in love with a certain guy named Patrick Mahomes. My experience of Chiefs games is a lot of wins. Very different than Sean's, right? Yeah, yep. Sean's endured it. He's right. earned this, these moments. He's earned those rings, which they will not stop, Colin. Um, well, this year. Right, they won't stop. They'll get it this year. I agree. No. NFC team going to win it this year. Oh, okay. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, no. Uh, we'll be fun. It's going to be a great Super Bowl this year. Uh, there's not one standout team in the NFL I mean, obviously, Colin's going with the Eagles. I'm going with the whoa, Chiefs. Whoa, whoa, But it's pretty open. There's one team that it has, only has one a 7-1 and one record that right? I know of. So I would say there's one standout they've team. They've had some good games. They've had some not-so-good games that they found a way to win. But, hey, I that's part that of the game. To it, right? you got to win the t close games. 
Uh, what do we think, guys? What else are we doing during the early show? Are we done for the early show? Or are we running this back? Uh, we got seven to go in the practice squad break. Uh, how many headliners are left, Colin? Well, how about uh, all of them, right? All of them. Uh, so big names, Herbert, Jefferson Authentics, The Bus, Saquon, uh, more big names. Uh, we have eight to go in the football double, six to go in the diamond break. Every single headliner out there but the uh, Aaron Rodgers, lone headliner off the board. Got some sick custom lids like this Julio. And that's a custom speed flex. We have the Hydro All Day Adrian Peterson. Uh, that thing is nice. Uh, we have eight to go in the jerseys. The chase for Jefferson is on. Ditka, McNabb, Jamal Charles, Earl Campbell, all still available in the jerseys. Six to go in the slabs. All the headliners left. A lot of quarterbacks, Colin. Eli Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, Bart Starr. You want to get the quarterback autographs. Five to go in the minis. Only eight minis left. One of them is Jefferson. Another one is Heinz Ward. Then three left in the slab single. Five left in the practice squad single. For 34 or 68 bucks, you can get authentic helmets that are worth, you know, more than 10, 15, maybe 20 times what that 34 entry spot is. Uh, all these helmets on the right, all of them are authentic helmets. All of them are great NFL players, past and present. Uh, born and raised in KC, I still remember when they sold tickets for $5 just to try to wow. get out of the blackouts. It's pretty awesome. And now Arrowhead is jam packed. That parking lot shot that they have with all the cars, it is overwhelming. Who's your all-time favorite KC player, Sean? Ooh, great question. All-time favorite. I'm going to say he's going to go with Mahomes. But if not, Dante Hall. Chief fans they love Dante joystick. Hall. He was fun. Oh, that's a great nickname, too. Uh, yo, yo, what up, Farky Fark? All right, he's taking Titans. 23-18 Titans. Tom Farkas has made a, a reappearance in the break room. Tom and I are at war. Wow. Oh, yeah, because this weekend. Mm -hmm. Really, a lot of the customers and I are at war. I, I, I hate to say it. Uh, sorry, guys. I think Colin might win the war this weekend. Let's go. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be a good game. Uh, we'll see how hurt Jalen Hurts is, you know, how That's close he is to 100%. Because maybe if he is really banged up, maybe Dallas with that defense can win. I'm certainly feeling less confident uh, in Philly than I was, you know, before I woke up this morning and saw the news. So Yeah, yeah I knew he was hurt. He had an hour after the game yesterday that it was just straight rehabbing mm. so all right we'll see all right let's do the wheel spin for the uh footballs then we'll do the early wheel spin afterwards uh, the first four spots in any nfl eight spot break are entered into the early chase wheel spin so obviously mahomes now but prior to that current uh defensive tackle was my fave oh dt Derek thomas excuse me uh Derek thomas Derek thomas is a beast uh, thomas is expecting that uh, Dallas D-line to attack that knee. R.I.P. to Derek Thomas. So Chase wheel spin coming up. A lot of footballs today, huh, Colin? A lot of footballs. All right, top name getting a gift card. And then we'll do the early entry wheel spin right after this. Good luck, guys. Nine times. Who's getting some bonus cash, Colin? That is a great question. Cash it in. Cash it in. Six. I mean, are they still going to run the tush push? They have to, right? Oh yeah, they will. All right. Good. He's a look. He's a tough sob man. He is. Uh, Kyle Lorson. What's up, Kyle? I think he snagged the win in the footballs too, Colin. Uh, he did. Dante Culpepper. Yeah, he had I think one spot in all of these. He got a win and a gift card. Uh, talk about profiting, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't you put that juju out there, William. <laughs> Uh, is that Marcus Mariota, the Eagles' backup quarterback? That is their backup, Marcus Mariota. Oof. Well, if it was retro Sean Payton coaching, I would say yes, 100%, right? Uh, I don't think that Dallas runs that way, but maybe they're just by sheer pressure, it's yeah. possible. Got to beat that offensive line first. We'll see. Uh -oh. Juju, 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 Juju is out there. <laughs> Juju Smith-Schuster, baby. He might be out there, maybe. Right? For the Patriots. You never know. All right, Kyle, I'm starting you on one. Let's see what gift card amount you're getting. This is a big one. 
This is big money, ninety-four dollar gift card. No, that's good because Stephen was telling me you were you were spending some ones. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, look, it's Ronnie will not be commenting on this one. Uh, although I'll say this, Sean knows all about the ones firsthand, <laughs> first uh, firsthand experience. I see. He was uh, Sean Jacobs. He was a part of the. The, the problem. Yeah, but he got a Travis Kelsey authentic, Colin. That's, that was cool. That is that is cool. It's worth a lot more than one dollar. Yeah, I think he's all right. Uh, he's doing just all right, Sean Jacobson. Well, we're, um, we're one away on the slab, and we're two away on the practice squad. So okay. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll get these guys until five fifty. If those breaks fill up, they'll be in the early chase wheel spin. Otherwise, at 550, we're doing the early chase wheel spin. Matt is not impressed. Oh, Matt's got the thumbs down. You see, guy, you see what happens, guys? The boss man gets mad when there's the high wheel spin. I can't win, Colin. If I spin low, the customers are mad. If I spin high, the boss man is mad. I mean, I, I try to go for 50. My goal every time, Colin, is to get 50 on the dot because at least I'm midway in between. But... My abilities to spin that wheel are not good enough. Mm. I always spin either really low or high. I say that all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's living proof. Yesterday, Matt came in, and Steven rolled a low number the first time. And he okay. said, good job, Steven. Now we can have a holiday party. Oh, and then God. the next spin, it was a high number. And he said, but it's going to be a potluck. Oh, no. <laughs> I, there, on the fridge, it does say save the day for the Halloween for the holiday party. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's in danger, 22nd. apparently. <laughs> Luckily, Steven rolled small. Oh, so. God. I better start spinning ones again. <laughs> yeah, 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 How do I get the money. ones? we got to save the money for the party. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, that 94 was not good. Yeah, Sean walked away happy that day. Good, Sean. You see? Uh, there's something to be said. There's more to life than the wheel spin, Colin. It's only a small part of everyone's life. Yeah, well. Oh, my God. Tell that to some people. <laughs> they, they take it seriously. <laughs> uh, you're okay matt the ones and twos he spun for me make up for that all right so uh sean can confirm the holiday party is on right sean single-handedly saved our holiday party there's Thank gonna you, be sean. there's gonna be a lot of cookies you know last, remember last year there was a lot of a lot of cookies year. man matt bring the cookies <laughs> we need some cookies. Low. We want cookies all right <laughs> It's going to be like, what's out of, there's, there's probably no such thing as a bad cookie brand. <laughs> but it's, we're going to get the hard ones, Colin, not the soft, fresh ones. Yeah, right. We're getting the hard cookies. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, the first four problems. Probably like the gluten-free, sugar-free. Oh, like, no! Yeah, there's, there's bad no, things. No, I got to start spinning low, man. That's <laughs> not, I don't want the gluten-free cookies. Yeah, gluten-free cookies. Gosh, um, I'm so sorry if you're gluten intolerant. That, yeah. That's 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 a, that's tough that's life. That's a tough life. Practice squad is ready, right? It's ready. All right, practice squad number one single. Uh, go ahead and drop me a box number. And then what else did you say is right on the doorstep, Colin? The slabbies. Slabbies are one away. That's coming up as well. And then yeah, though, and then maybe the jersey break. Three to go in the jersey break. It's possible this show as well. Uh, we got NJ Fresh. That's a Subway spokesman saying certified fresh. Uh, he wants box 32. Yeah, Subway cookies, those are good. Those are good. Thank you, Tom Farkas on 32. All right. So practice squad, we did two doubles. Here's our first single. We got Wesley Baker, the bucket maker. Troy Shamans, Larry Jensen, Reginald Taglicod. I told you he would be in this break, Colin. You see, I told you. Justin Herbert, authentic for 34 bucks. It's like if Reggie Tags doesn't jump in, there's something wrong with the world. <laughs> uh, we got Brendan Fairbanks and Tom Farkas getting the last two spots. He's like, I can't wait till seven. I want this now. I gotta see it now. I'm hungry for breaks and I want them now. Let me put the randomizer up, actually. So we got three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, Wesley had 27, but Tom was first with the 32, which we're doing. All right, Troy, you've got the NFC North. We got the NFC South is Brandon. NFC East is Larry. NFC West is Brandon again. Tom, AFC North and South. Reginald, AFC East. 
And Wesley, you've got the AFC West. 32 of 35 coming up in the practice squad. No authentic helmets yet coming out. I think there's like a, a bunch of authentic headliners, but none of them have come out yet. Not yet. Ooh, 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 ooh. This right here is fantastic. This is the best running back in the NFL. Hey. How about the Christian McCaffrey autographed mini helmet, Brandon Fairbanks. That is Beckett certified 17 straight games with a rushing touchdown count. That tied, or the touchdown actually, any kind of touchdown. Tying the NFL record with Lenny Moore. That's a whole season's worth of touchdowns, right? Yeah. He's leading the league in touchdowns, leading the league in rushing yards. Uh, he is arguably the best player in the NFL right now, right? He's up there. It's him or the cheetah, right? Mm, I mean, some I'm quarterbacks. Just, I'm just saying. Uh, AJ Jaylen? Brown? AJ Brown's been really good, too. He is behind Tyree Killen yards, but he is second. AJ Brown. Mm -hmm. just, just throw it out there. I would still say Christian McCaffrey, though. Dude yeah. is so solid. He is great. Yes, sir, says Brandon. Yes, sir, indeed. C. M. C. Yeah, for the low, low price of 34 bucks. 34 bucks for a McCaffrey autograph, Colin? Yeah, I'll take that. That's redonk. I know we have two spots in that break, but still, that's also redonk. Uh, yeah, that's easily over a $100 mini helmet. Uh, let's go, Brandon. Brandon. Christian McCaffrey. Uh, he actually just became a Fanatics exclusive this week, Colin. Really? Uh, so, uh, obviously, a lot of the McCaffrey stuff from... Uh, you know, we got in the past, so that means that we can't get them on custom jerseys anymore, which womp, womp. which stinks for us. But what what it means when you're a Fanatics exclusive, it means your price goes up for autograph, your value goes up. Uh, so something to keep in mind. It also means you're legit. Fanatics yeah, gets legit. all the legit guys. Like a certain guy named Tom Brady, he's Fanatics, of course. I'm, uh, I'm familiar with him. Yeah, you, you've heard of Tom Brady? Uh, in passing, I think. In passing, okay, yeah. that's fair. Yeah. Okay. His name, he's, he's going to be the quarterback for the Vikings, right? That's what George Rodine told us in the chat. Uh, I don't know what information he had. I don't think he had Adam Schefter on speed dial. But that's what George went with. Why not? Crazier things have happened. A messy place for Inter-Miami. You know. That's, that's pretty crazy. If you told me that five years ago, I would have said you're crazy. Inter-Miami just got, ex like, born like five years ago, Kyle. Like, they weren't even a team. The, the thought of Inter-Miami got brought up five years ago. They weren't even actually a professional team yet. And here we are with the best player in the world playing for him now. Yeah, I love it. It's uh, not bad. I feel bad that he didn't play in your game oh, you went to. I know. I know. That's unfortunate. I'm still not over it. Yeah, that's that sucks. It was terrible. I'm sorry. Uh, that's all right, Colin. Uh, thank you so much, though. Darcy and Brandon and if, or got in, got this the spots in this break. Let me know on a box number. Turnover jersey number five. Cinco Cinco. And that was our first headliner off the board, Colin, mm -hmm. uh, in that practice squad series. We have, we have one, five in. Yeah, one spot to go on the slabs. Uh, that should also be coming up, right? Yeah, still at a one in three chance then in the practice squad for a headliner. Mm. I kind of like those odds, don't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> those odds seem kind of juicy. With every single full-size authentic still out there? Right. I kind of want to see that Lawrence Taylor photo, too, though. That's cool. That is cool. All right, so I'm going to go to our wheel for our jersey box number. One to 40. Uh, we got ourselves. Oh, my God. It did the refresh. 27, <laughs> Colin. It is still spooky season. I kind of like that. <laughs> it just uh, popped up with one number. So oh, that's gone. we don't have it. I think that we have 23 and 30. I think 30 is closer than 23, right? That is. Correct. Correct. So we'll do 30. Had to think about it there for a second. I also had to think for just yeah, a second. Yeah, that's okay. Four and three, right? Uh, we're not math majors. We did not graduate in math. So Darcy and Brandon coming up here. We'll do the slab break next, which is one away. And then we'll see, Colin. Yeah. As, as long as these guys want to party, we'll keep going. We're but four. if they're if not, they're not partying hard, we'll take our dinner break shortly, though. Mm-hmm. What four, were we going to say? Four away on the next uh, practice squad. So. They, they liked, I think they liked this. I told you they liked the series. Yeah. Uh, it was 
Um, you know, no doubt it was going to be flying off the shelves. And here we are. All right, so we got Brandon in the NFC North. Darcy's got the NFC South. Brandon, NFC East, NFC West. And Darcy's got the entire AFC. So she's looking for a bill. Although a lot of headliners are in the NFC, but Jamal Charles and Earl Campbell as well. Let's get that Ditka, says Brandon. The coach. The coach. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Oh, my gosh. The coach? Oh, my gosh. I'm a Bears fan, Colin. And I think this uh -oh. might be even better than the coach. Oh, boy. It's Jay Jettas. Oh, you know where boy. it'd be. We got Justin Jefferson on the custom Viking jersey. Yeah. Uh, number one all time in receiving yards per game. Justin Jefferson, Offensive Player of the Year last year in the NFL. Uh, this dude's a bad dude. Let's go, says Brandon. Brandon's eating up. He's on fire, Brandon Fairbanks. Uh, man is unconscious. He's got Justin Jefferson. He's got himself a sick headliner. That's how we do, Brandon. Congrats on your Jefferson custom jersey. He says, let's go. Yeah, it's back-to-back -back headliners for uh, Brandon. Man, congrats. Darcy says, need to stop chasing him. He is hard to catch, right? He is hard to uh, catch. I know Tyreek is the fastest, but uh, Jefferson is fast, too. Uh, nice hit there, Brandon, on Jay Jettas. Okay. Nasty. Okay, Colin. I mean, I actually think the two best hits of the show were the last two boxes. Yeah, I Don't think you think? So too. Yeah. And I, was, I was just thinking to myself, we've done some boxes, we've had some fun, but we have skipped a boatload of headliners. Not anymore. And just like that, headliners galore. Headliners are heating up. Uh, so that's the time to keep the brakes going. Uh, when the break room is hot, you guys should be jumping in, filling these brakes up. Uh, so 5.57 at 6 o'clock, I will do the early chase wheel spin, Colin. Uh, so if you want to be in that list, let's close up that slab. One spot to go. Let's go up that practice squad. Four spots to go. If you guys really want to keep balling, we can keep going. We can skip our dinner break if we absolutely have to, Colin. Uh, but if these orders are not hot the next five or ten minutes, we're hopping off and taking a brief dinner break. Usually about 6, 6.15 is kind of that, like, cutoff point, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, we'll see. Nice hit, Justin Jefferson. I'd say. Yeah, I like the purple jersey. This is clean. Very clean. So. Three in the next practice squad. All right. These people like the practice squad, Colin. And we still, by the way, there's a better Justin Jefferson in there. There's the Justin Jefferson authentic helmet, Colin. Jay Jett is on an authentic for That's $34? Maybe, maybe okay. that's what that's been waiting for Darcy. Not the jersey. The authentic helmet. Right, Darcy. Maybe you can do better than the jersey. Mm -hmm, potentially. And the the price point's only eight bucks more, Colin. Right. But I mean a, a jersey to an authentic, that's it, much more more than eight dollars as far as the price. Well, goes. way more. Way more. Like way more. Hundreds uh, of dollars. I mean, more than double or triple more, Colin. Uh so I, I would start chasing him again, Darcy. Go counter to your own advice. <laughs> and and maybe you hit something like a Derrick Henry, a Justin Herbert. I'm sure you'd be all right with that. Uh, some of the other names in here, Colin. Uh, we got ourselves Marshall Falk, Tim Brown, Amon Ross St. Brown, George Pickens, Keenan Allen. I think we pulled DJ Moore, but we haven't pulled Polamalu. So, like, the headliner ratios counting these guys, Colin, are better than 50%. It's crazy. And that is pretty good. Uh, in the practice squad. So probably have more of those coming up. Uh, still no action on that slab break though, huh? Yeah, one spot. Weird. One spot. It one is spooky season. Spot. Well, those guys will be in the night show early entry. We will spend either way, the first four. True. Because if you miss out on the early show, you are in the late show. So I'll do the early entry wheel spin. And I'll give these guys until 6.05, Colin, to clear up the slabs uh, or the practice squad. If it's full by 6.05, we'll break it. If it's not full by 6.05, we'll come back in 55 minutes and break it tonight at 7 p.m. Uh, 
Uh, so early entry wheel spin. Uh, Brandon down to Darcy. Good luck, folks. Let's see some fire. Why Maybe not? another big wheel spin. It was 94 last time, Colin. Oh. Mm-hmm. But now you're worried about the Christmas party. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I never win on these. I really never do win. <laughs> See, you got to start going middle, Colin. I'm, I, I, that's what I'm trying. I'm trying, Colin. <laughs> uh, I just... Uh, nine clicks. It's Amanda. What's up, Amanda? Amanda Fredborg. Let me know what number you want to start on, Amanda. Otherwise, I will start you on one. So, let me know, Amanda. Amanda Fredborg. Right? She's, she actually has not been in the chat today. She's usually in the chat. That's Amanda Rose, I think, oh, on yeah. Facebook. Hey, Freds. So give her about 20 seconds here, Colin. Otherwise, I'm spinning this wheel, and I'm going to have to face my fate. I'll have to live with this wheel spin number no matter what it is. Just... I think you're going to land right on 50. Right on 50? Mm -hmm. That's I'm, my prediction. I'm going to predict 87. I, it just feels high to me. Feels high. All right, let's see who's right. Oh, this is not bad for the Christmas party, Colin. 22. All right, 22. That's, that's not terrible. That's, that's respectable. I do feel bad for Amanda, though. So, again, I, lo I lose again, Colin. <laughs> but I tried. Uh, 22 bucks. Congrats, Amanda Fredborg. Uh, that money is going... Uh, you know, into your email and money you can spend here in the break room. So 602. We've been sitting one away on that slab for quite a bit, Colin. Yeah, we're one away on the slab, one away on the practice squad. All right, let's get this practice squad done. Darcy is taking our advice. She's going to try. She's going to try. All right, I'll give you guys three minutes. If we can't knock out one spot in three minutes, Colin... It's not really meant to be. A couple prefills. Yeah, a couple prefills for tonight. Uh, I think it, we're probably full right now, though. Let's see. We've got an order coming in. Uh, David, David Griffin. Griffin. What up, David? I haven't seen my man in a minute. He's been a little bit quieter lately. Uh, hopefully, all is okay with David. He's, He's usually such a loud and boisterous personality. Uh, when I don't see from, I don't hear from him, I'm like, what I, is going on? I worry about you, David. David, I'm worried. I'm Let panicking. Write up this Jefferson win for Brandon. I'll kind of keep this out here because this is... It's kind of hard what is the best hit, the Jefferson or the McCaffrey, Colin. But those are our two top hits so far, right? Yep. I would say almost certainly. Yeah. That could change, though. Uh, we get that practice squad done. They could change in the, maybe in the slabs. I mean, there's an Aaron Rodgers rookie card. So Jalen Hurts... There is that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so slab break is coming up. And then the practice squad. Uh, great question. What is Brandon's squad, says Darcy. Uh, Brandon, do you care to answer, good sir? He's a pretty new guy, Brandon Fairbanks. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll put this down. I'll move the Jefferson jersey a little bit here, Colin. Uh, so slab break. Oh, Chicago, that's right. Oh, boy. Chi-town. Uh, yeah, he's got a lot of heartbreak, just like me, Colin. Life can be hard sometimes. Yeah. Being a sports <laughs> fan is not always easy. Many times, it's very, very difficult. Especially right. Chicago sports fans. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Uh, box nine in the slabs. Nine. Nine is coming up here in our slab card break. The Nick Foles box. It is the Nick Foles box. Or Shane Matthews, former Bear quarterback. And Nick Foles was a former Bear quarterback as well, actually, Colin. Yes, he was. Not quite as successful. <laughs> not, not quite. But then again, what quarterback is quite His as former successful? Former Chiefs quarterback, Chicago? too. Nick Foles. He was? Yeah, he was. Uh, so we got nine times coming up here. All right, so Ron, you've got the NFC North. NFC South is David. Darcy, NFC East and West. 
Ron AFC North and South, Darcy AFC East, and Robert in the AFC West. 9 of 25. Never ending slap cards. Oh my god, this is a filler hit, Colin? Are you kidding me? This is a joke. This must be a joke. This is as good as a headliner easily. The Mint 9 Panini Prism Austin Eckler. Wow. <laughs> uh, touchdown machine. I think he led the league in touchdowns last season. A uh, great guy in fantasy for PPR, running the ball, receiving the ball. Uh, I mean, look at this. I, I'm looking at the numbers in 2019 on this one, Colin. Uh, he had 993 receiving yards in 2019. That's crazy. Uh, that's an insane hit right there. It's Newman. Let's go, Robert. Just a filler hit wow. uh, on the Mint 9 Austin Eckler. Yeah, I think it's a silver refractor, too. That's, that's a beautiful this card, is man. nice. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful card. Robert. Uh, Ron was looking for Bart Starr or Rogers. Uh, maybe next time, Ron. Uh, nice get for Robert, though. I'd say. Yeah, this is a, this might be the that's third a, best hit of the show. That's a filler. As a filler, Colin. Some things in life don't make sense. Uh, how good some of our breaks are. Sometimes they don't make sense, right? Uh, true. A lot nice. of good stuff. I guess it's a good problem to have. Uh, that's for sure. All right, Austin Eckler. Sick. Congrats, Robert, says Ron. And practice squad is next. Practice squad number two. Numero dos. Go ahead and drop me a box number. Elijah, Regimal, Tom, Tony, Darcy, and Brandon. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking. And this is probably the last break of the show, unless we're full or, you know, just a couple of spots away. Plenty more breaks coming up tonight at 7, though, Colin, right? Oh, yes. I imagine a lot of this series. Uh, Regimo Taglacod looking for 28. What up, Reggie Tags? He wants that Herbert. Not Sherbert. He wants Herbert. Uh, Colin. Gosh, it. <laughs> Look, that's what happens. We put a Herbert in the series. You talked to Luke about this one, Colin. Uh, that's just that's just what happens. You know what? I'm going to talk to Luke about it. We want more Justin Herbert, just to be clear. <laughs> we need more Herbert. <laughs> so, so common can keep saying Sherbert. Right? Nine clicks. Uh, it's Brandon up top in the NFC North. Right below is Darcy in the NFC South. Uh, we got Tom NFC East. Tony Gonzalez, NFC West. Tom Farkas, AFC North. Uh, Darcy Standish, AFC South. Reginald Taglicott, AFC East. And Elijah, AFC West. Brandon says the North. The North remembers, Colin. Uh, what's up, guys? Says Reginald. Just having fun, Reggie Tags. Breaking boxes. Uh, I'm sure you already know. You've been listening to the show. There's a Justin Herbert Flash Authentic in this mixer. He said, oh yes, I know. This is not an authentic dough, but this is cool. Uh, we got the Super Duper jersey. Uh, we got the dual signed uh, Duper and Clayton jersey here, right? Ah, oh my right. God, this is cool. I love a good dual sign. All right. Uh, we got ourselves, this is Dan Marino's guys. Uh, when he had that record-breaking season back in 84, they're known as the Marx Brothers, right? Mm -hmm. uh, very cool right there on your Dolphin custom jersey. It's Regimo, actually. Reggie, Reggie tags. tags with the win. Uh, so it's not the North remembering this time, Colin. The East remembers this time. This time. This time. Reggie Tags, good job, brother. Uh, nice hit. Yeah, I think uh, it's Mark Duper that signs it Super Duper. Yes, he that does. There. It's, it's got it out right there on the bottom. Yeah, Super Duper. Super so Duper. nice autograph. Uh, that is cool. Congrats, says Darcy. Oh, nice, says Regimal. Oh, nice indeed. Indubitably. Uh, indubitably. Regimal Taglicon. All right, let's take a peek here, Colin, real quick. Are we full on anything or Super Duper close? Get it? Yeah, super duper marks. Mark super duper. I no, think five away on the uh, double box break for the. 
practice squad. Okay, so that'll be one for early on. Uh, let's talk here to the show. What are you going, Jefferson or McCaffrey? What do you think? I'm going to go McCaffrey. Just McCaffrey? Because, you know, he's breaking records right now. Uh, Jefferson's see, hurt. Jefferson's hurt. The flavor of the week, I'll exactly. agree. Yeah. McCaffrey, Minnie's my head of the show. Jay Jetta's jersey. Can't go wrong, A though. close second. Uh, awesome, awesome show tonight, guys. Uh, Going to be more fire tonight. I will actually fold this jersey off here because I'm going to refold. This one is a little bit of a struggle bus, Con. I want to make sure I get it right. <laughs> Uh, so thank you guys for a great great show jefferson says darcy uh obviously matter of personal opinion both are good options we'll be back tonight at seven four and seven monday through friday two and seven on saturday and sunday we'll see you guys in 50 minutes